And there it goes. Oh my, have the side quests been piling up. So, my agenda seems to have a lot planned for it. So, let's just do a run-through of everything that needs to get done. I need to continue this Aranara quest line to save Rana. I need to go back and do the Surumi Island Mist Veil quest line. I need to do Venti's story quest. And on top of that, I still need to continue Act 1 of Sumeru. Of the Sumeru Archon quest. Those are the big items on the agenda. However, there is an even bigger, even more important mission that we have been putting off for a very, very long time. So we're going to do this first thing first on the stream before we do anything else. That is, of course... Lost in a foreign land. I have been asking about the significance of the Fatui for a while, so if we have a Fatui side quest, we're doing the Fatui side quest. With that being said... Somebody recently explained to me how the pity system works, so while we're here, let's uh, look at what my pity is, because we probably have to be getting close to a 5-star, right? Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. So we're at 47 pity. So we probably won't be getting a 5 star from this banner. So, we're not likely to get a lot of stuff, but that's, uh, not important. That being said, I care more about the four-star characters than I care about the, uh, non-four-star characters. The five-star characters are not a priority to me. As I've mentioned time and time again, I've kind of got the comp that I want, so I'm just leveling the characters that I have. The wishing is purely for those of you at home. So, dying we wish, stream boss dying we wish, people sub we wish, people can force me to wish, because on my own, I don't see a lot of the point. Alrighty, let's do this Fatui mission side quest thing. How big of a twist would it be if this Sisson Mage is the same one that we met? It's probably unlikely, because I don't know how they got down here. But it's the same one that we met that stole the, the liar to him, Al. Probably isn't. I think the one that we fight in the Fadui hideout is the one that was that one. 
But that's a cool thought. So now that we have these star shrooms, we can now activate them. Does that only work on the star shrooms in Sumeru? Weird. Katarina. As expected, you came. Please, take a seat. Let me see what's left. Black tea is out. Sugar out, too. Alright, here's some milk. Ugh, it turned sour. Gotta throw it away later. My apologies. But there's plenty of fire, water, plus some hardtack sour jam to go with it. Enough for a tea party. We're having a tea party with Assistant Mage. Fun. Do you people consider fire water to be a standard tea party thing? Oh, fire and water, not fire and water. <laughs> so, alcohol. Yeah, what's the problem with it? I'll pass. What? No one's going to call you out for drinking here. Just suit yourself. So, what are you doing? Sharing food and intel at the right moment is considered conductive to silencing a curious mouth. That's what our handbook says. Cool, the, they have a handbook too. So where's the intel? I just shared it. Did you tell us anything? Fatui Advanced Team Handbook Appendix 4-4 Article 32 Sharing food and intel at the right moment is conductive to silencing a curious mouth. You're welcome. You saved my life, and in return, I divulge classified content from our handbook. How's that for sincerity? I like her. She's just that right amount of snarky. What's the use of that? Jokes aside, actually, I'm very grateful for your help. But my kind gesture doesn't mean anything else. With what you people have done, Paimon thinks it's hard to believe in your kind gesture. She doesn't have an idle animation for she stands still, does she? What are you up to, really? It's no surprise that outsiders fail to understand the cause of the Fatui. But when we aren't talking about what we pursue, or which side we're on, we are just a bunch of ordinary people. Besides, all our agendas and deeds are just pre preparatory work for the final battle. The final battle? Yes, in the end, all of us will face a common enemy, the inescapable Long Night. Everyone in Shneznaya has been thusly warned. So every drop of tears and blood for, of mankind shed for the sake of this cruel world, they shall not be shed in vain. I just realized that they have a weird stance. She's like all... She's got her knees facing towards each other, and her feet are off-center. So like, uh, pointed inward like this, almost. Huh. But we got what I wanted, which is we got some more lore. Let's have a toast, no? Hmm, eh, suit myself. I'll just suit myself. Is this how you justify the evil you've done? Maybe you're right. I don't know. Nor do I care to know. You wanted an explanation, and I gave you one. You're free to not find it to your liking, that's all. Where did all that deep stuff suddenly come from? By the way, I've introduced myself, but I don't think I've gotten your name. I'm Dan. And Paimon's Paimon. Oh, your names. <laughs> well... We're pretty well known all over Tevat, aren't we? Sorry, I've never heard of you. Either of you, actually. She pretended to, though. That's funny. What? Please don't take it the wrong way. I was sent down here a long time ago. I barely know anything about what's happening on the surface, save for n the news we get through our supply lines. Doesn't that mean... That your supply line's long been cut off? Because this place was sealed by like seven seals for how many? I don't know, wasn't it months? 
Tea party's over. I need to get some rest. Excuse me. You haven't even started eating yet. Leave immediately. Leave already. Didn't you just frown upon my fire water? That's because Paimon didn't think it was drinkable at all. People have different food preferences, you know. Alright, Paimon. Hmm. By the way, uh, please wait. Uh, it's, it's nothing. I'm thinking that if you, if it were you, please come back another day if you don't find it too troublesome. Lost in a foreign land. Okay, so whatever. This quest seems time-gated. check in on her every now and then. She seems to be an interesting character. We also need to check on the base camp in the chasm, too, because we can keep telling our stories to that one bard, and he'll make a big deal out of it. Alright. Um... Dream Nursery. We need to do Children of the Forests. Still. Looks like we're still going to get like two more songs at some point. to Sumeru. We got our little side thingy out of the way. We got a lot of lore. So we now know a little bit more about the Fatui motivations and goals and that they have been down in the chasm since before our story began. Dendromunculus or something up here. Sure, it would be in here. Oh, uh, whatever. On the way to travel. <laughs> oh, these guys are back. Ara by Laika. Arapanadu. He's over here now. Well, looks like the more people we help out, the more of them return back to Vanarana. Aha! Here we go. Sprouting seedlings. What is the name of the quest we're on? Yes, Sprouting Seedlings. Head to the garden, cared for by the Aranakuta. Oh no, we're learning farming! That looks like tilled land! It's Aranakula. It's Aranakula. Made it back to Vanarana and with an unknown Aranara. Naradan and Paimon. The Varuna contraption has been healed. Aranakula can now focus on the nursery. 
This is Arakara. Aranakula and Aranakara tend to the Varana nursery together. This is the nursery that Aranakula always talks about. Yes, the soil here was originally suitable for growing things, and it can grow happily with Vira... Viparias. Viparias. Are there unhappy Viparias? They are not unhappy. Just not as happy. Huh? It's like having soil that's suitable for growth. And there is no lack of rain and sunlight. <laughs> and no obstacles to growth. There seems nothing to be unhappy about, but it's not anything to be happy about. Feels plain and ordinary, eh? So this is the place different from the other places. The soil in Vanarana all very good. But here is particularly good. And more importantly, Arakara and Aranakula will look for it. Look after them. Alright. Look after in what way specifically? We'll play music to them. And compliment their beauty. Ah, talking to plants helps them grow, singing them helps them grow even more. Is this the difference between wild and domesticated uh, viparios? Paimon can't can relate. It's hard to not be happy when there is a pleasant music to listen to, and to be praised daily for your beauty. Just like Paimon before, Paimon was flushed out by Dan. Paimon wasn't unhappy, but not happy either. After Paimon started traveling with Dan, we've met with many difficulties. But when Paimon is happy, Paimon sometimes feels extra happy. Paimon is quite right. Arakara is going to make beautiful lights with happy Viparius for the festival Utsava. Since uh, Aranakula is back, since Aranakula is back, we should hurry and get started. The seeds of Viparius. Do Viparius have seeds too? Viparius is the Earth's balderdash. It is what Earth remembers and dreams. That seed. Viparius has no seeds. But how do you have a nursery without seeds? Could Aranakula have some Aracalari Ar that can grow Viparius out of thin air? No, Paimon is wrong. To make nursery grow Viparius, Vesmerti is needed. That's a hard to pronounce word. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to pronounce that. This is one of those times where voice acting would have been really beneficial, or more specifically, voice acting direction. Vanarana will remember everything. So with Vismarti, the earth will remember again and dream. The nursery will also birth happy Viparius. Oh, then this Vesmarti can only be obtained by Aranara. Does that mean Dan and Paimon have no chance to grow Viparias in the nursery? The Golden Nara helped Aranakula. Aranakula and other Aranara. The Golden Nara is Aranara friend. So Aranakula and Nara Dan will cultivate the Viparias together. Let Vesmarti sink into soil and Viparias will be birthed by Nara Dan. Try it. You follow what he said, and the smarty sinks into the same. This is it. Doesn't seem to be any different from growing other plants, but put the seed in the soil and wait for the seed to grow. The smarty is not seed, it's a sprout. Speaking of which, the nursery still has a lot of space left. One, two, three, whoa. There are 12 spots for growing viparias. You have any of it? More of a Sparty, Aranakula? Used to, but not anymore. Need to collect again. Outside the dream world, there are 12 nurseries that can condense for Smarty. With them, the Vanarana nursery will be full of Viparias again. Festival Utsava needs lots of Viparias, and Vanarana has a lot of them. But there are more happy Viparias. 
Ara and Ara will be happy. Nara Dan and Paimon will be happy too. In that case, let's collect Vismarti. But how do you collect this thing? Arakara just said that earlier that in the nursery outside of the dream world, Golden Nara still need to traverse the land of the nursery. Once is okay, too many times no. Only one trip is needed, and the nursery soil will bear Vismartis. Like dew that gathers on the leaves of sunrise at Alter Night of Rain. Paimon doesn't get it at all. I'm wet again. But based on the experience of dealing with Aranara before, when we find the nursery outside the dream world, we should be able to know what Aranakula is saying. Well then, we should look around when we find a nursery. Well, that was short. Alright. Where does the book need us to go? Go to go help more Aranara. We did the one in the Apom Woods. I guess we need to do the one in Gonda Hill and the Devon Taka Mountain. At least these are all labeled. So it gives me something to do. Come on, enough procrastinating. Let's go. Oh, it wants me to do that thing with the Aramites. I thought that was a side quest. Oh, I found a Ranakula in a well-hidden nursery to go to Papyrus. I should look for the nurseries in the wilds. Okay, this is what I'm doing right now. But this requires me to go do that Aramites thing. And then we still have to do that. Jeez, this is probably going to be like six chapter of this forest adventure journal. And we finished Woodland Encounter. We're still trying to finish Dream Nursery. And Dream Nursery requires us to do Starry Night Chapter. You have now resolved the problem with the Varuna contraption. Continue exploring the forest to prepare for Festival Utsava. Okay, so this is done. Cool. Starry Night Chapter. Although, I want to do this because it's before it gets too irrelevant, so we're going to actually sidetrack and do Through the Mists. Because we have been putting this one off, and I've been told that this quest is time-gated, so we're going to constantly have to keep going back and checking on this. So, time to go talk to Kama. Figure out where all this nonsense with Lou... With Rue is, and all this crazy shenanigans. With the weird... Island that you have fog on. Some of you might also notice that my Kaching is level 61, because we have finally gotten all those materials to get her 
level cap raised to 70. What's the matter? We ran into some very concerning things on Surumi Island. Your point being? We'd like to know what your relationship with the island is, Miss Sumida would like to know more about your relation to Surumi Island. And we'll leave Miss Sumida out of this. That's none of your business. You've already helped Lady Sumida find the Mashiro, so there's no need for any further association between us. Yikes, how cold! Actually, Miss Sumida's commission isn't over yet. She wanted us to continue investigating Surumi Island. Alright, I understand. And now he's so willing all of a sudden. Kama is my family's, uh, consider it my clan's name. Our ancestor is from Surumi Island. Oh, so the guy that we saw there is probably your ancestor. What? Why didn't Miss Sumita tell us any, us any of that? Gaff, shock, lightning crackle, lightning crackle. <laughs> That's because I've never told her. But why? Because she never asked. If she asked, I would have told her. But since she hasn't, I'm simply her boatman. I follow her to Yashiri Island, gather reference material, smuggle snacks from Leeway. I listen to her read books. I think it's a good deal. So about your ancestor. My ancestor, my ancestor could not stomach what was happening on Surumi Island and left. So he built a small boat and followed the path of the so-called Thunderbird. He went to Seire Island. That's right. My ancestors lived on Seire Island for a long time. Some, some time later, the Thunderbird destroyed Surumi Island. And even later on, it was killed on Seire. The island became nigh uninhabitable then, so we migrated to Kanazuka. Kanazuka? Our family was lucky enough to survive these various catastrophes, so we began working in Tatsurasuna, afterwards having despaired of the way of which the then inspector acted, my ancestors resigned and moved to the Narukumi Island. Previously, you made a tidy sum of mora in Rito doing business. By the time it came to my father's generation, we had little to our name but a pile of debts. You really remember history so clearly. Each generation of our family will tell our story to the one that follows. We have a strong oral tradition. It is said that this was due to our earliest ancestor claiming that if he had given up everything, save for the reason he had left in the first place... Before my father passed on, he claimed that we were the last scions of the people of Surumi Island. Although that hardly counts for much. It also doesn't count for much if you never fucking share this information with anybody. Passing it down doesn't do anything if nobody else knows. We were no illustrious clan, like one might consider. The Hiragi, or the Kamisato to be. And the only thing that he left to me was a single small boat. Why did your ancestor leave Surumi Island? We hold th that it is because the Thunderbird showed favor to a certain child, which the priests then decided to sacrifice to it. It's Rue. Our ancestor could not accept such a thing, so he left. He originally wanted to take the child with him, but it seems that the other party stayed for their own accord. That must have been really hard for him. So the unnatural occurrences on the island... They must be a result of a very large-scale ley line disorder. It is said that the sound of Surumi Island being destroyed could be heard all the way from Seire. Was the Thunderbird really that powerful? Considering it could reduce Seire Island to such a state. My father did not take me to Surumi once did take me to Surumi once to see where it all began. Apparitions of the past would appear amidst the sea of fog, illusions replaying past events, namely the final ceremony held on the island, albeit one in which the flow of time is all wrong. The Thunderbird then destroyed Surumi Island, resulting in a great storm. 
and then it started all over again. So that's the reason why those people didn't take any notice of us at all. Because they're all illusions of the past. It's fr how bizarre. There's no meaning in speaking to the islanders. They are simply shadows created by the ley line disorders. However, there is one exception, which is the, sh the child who was the offering to the Thunderbird. I believe this to be the Rue you spoke of. But that means we gotta save him. I wouldn't worry about this. They are all ultimately illusions created by the ley lines. No wonder the Mashiro disappears. So the whole ghost Mashiro thing that Miss Sumida talked about was true. But never mind all that, Paimon thinks we should at least try to help Rue. Even if he's an illusion, he's still Paimon's friend. Hmm. Well, it doesn't matter to me either way. I have no love of Surimi Island, nor do I have any for my father's talk of bloodlines in history. If I were Lady Sumida, I would say something like, If the cycle of the Sea of Fog can be broken, then that history may also be ended. It would make for a good story. <laughs> Very funny. But you didn't laugh. Really, I did? In fact, I find it quite interesting. Well, sure. Either way, thanks for telling us this stuff, Kama. Lady Sumida commissioned you. I have said enough, I believe. Alright. We ask Kama from YouTube, it's time to go do the thing for Rue. The Sea of Fog and the Rite of Trees. This fucking island's misty up again. It keeps deactivating my fucking waypoints, too. rolls here. Ah, so you're still on the island as well. That's great. How have you been lately? Any shocking discoveries? Let's hear them, shall we? We're still exploring this place? Is that so? Well, don't let me slow you down, then. Actually, paimon has got a question. What are you doing here, Rold? Me, I was just picking, packing my things up and preparing to leave. The fog here is too bizarre. Step into it for a bit and you lose your way. And before you know it, you're right back where you started. I'd forgotten the path that Kama pointed out to me before, so I tried looking for some natives to show me the way, but I couldn't find any path no matter how much I tried. My compass, shadows on the ground, none of these seemed to help. I even tried using my shoes, but nope. Couldn't take a single step further into the fog. Your shoes? He means he used them as way markers. What? As expected of you, Dan, you're well versed in adventuring tricks indeed. You've got so much to learn, Paimon. Yes, much to learn you have, Paimon. Oh, come on, that's just called trying your luck. Paimon doesn't have to learn that. Either way, my progress is ground to a halt. If I had tied a rope to a nearby tree and tried to advance while holding on to its other end tightly, I could probably have made a few more attempts. So why didn't you try again? I used up the backup shoes that I had brought along to tell which way I was going. So they were ones and dunsies, huh? Well, they shouldn't have been, but I threw too many of them and kept forgetting to retrieve them. So I ran over... Ran out over time, you know. Wait, that's right. I finally remembered. I got something to ask you. Oh, well, that's a surprise. <laughs> Sorry. I have a rather shameful habit of constantly forgetting things. My poor memory has gotten me into hot water more than a few times, especially since I'm an adventurer and all. One of my goals in coming to Sorumi Island was to collect something known as the fluorescent fungi. 
According to Songo, the fungi can help improve one's memory and relieve strain on one's brain. It's said that they can even improve the visual acuity. Last time I was here with Karma. I was so preoccupied with the meeting the locals that I forgot to collect any. I also didn't expect that I would encounter so much trouble after coming to an island on my own. It's a real shame. So if you still have adventuring plans in this area, could you help me pack a few, pick a few of these for us and fungi? Sure. Thank you so much. The saga of Mr. Forgetful. I want little Paimon. Wait, were you just playing Paimon? Where did you get your manners go? You know what, Dan? Just give this guy those weird mushrooms already. Paimon's not talking to him. <laughs> Will this be enough? Fuck, I picked up a ton of these. I knew they would be useful for something. This should be enough, yes. Thank you ever so much. By the way, if you find anything interesting near the island's ceremonial site, do give me a shout as well. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. That you have. A Fontaine-built camera with you, right? That's a rather expensive gadget, to be sure. I should really get myself one of those, should my budget allow. I've heard local historians say that the ancient natives of Surumi Island would use paintings to depict ancient, now unremembered history on the rock walls and caves. That most of these murals have lasted over a thousand years now. <coughs> During my previous trip here... I was able to catch a glimpse of these images by ceremonial firelight. They occupied my thoughts for several restless nights and were most hard to forget indeed. I don't believe that anyone has ever witnessed the murals in full, but if you could bring me back proof of their existence, it'll surely constitute a major breakthrough for the Adventurers Guild in the field of historic academia. If you should find those legendary murals, take as many clear pictures of them as you can. I will purchase the photos from you for use in my diaries for a fair price and reward you for your trouble to boot. What do you say? Is this arrangement acceptable? Ah, uh, it'll do. Thank you very much. Where are these? Ah, it's all over there. Well, we can't do that anyway. Maybe we'll do that as a bookend to this fucking Through the Mist saga when we eventually get to. I should rearrange my party. Those are my friends. My party. Go, Barbara, go! She's so close to level 60. At the ready. Yeah! No one escapes my sight. Uh, uh, go, go, Baron! Speed of light. Huh? Scatter! this an answer from this world? Alright. <laughs> Gotta go find that stupid gate thing again. Is 
this an answer from this world? <sighs> Just like last time, we should be able to find them as long as we go through this gate. Oh my god, the shrines are foggy again. God damn it. Oh, he's not in the same spot he always was. Who's not here? Maybe he's deeper inside. We need to find him, and quick. If not, the islanders are going to sacrifice him to the Thunderbore. According to what Kama said. Yeah, Paimon knows. All the things happening here are illusions of constantly repeat themselves. But if that's the case, that doesn't mean that Rue's been sacrificed to the Thunderbird by Archon only knows how many times. It's just so sad. Just too sad. You gotta help him, no matter what. You're right, let's do this. Yep. Deeper into the island. That's another thing I want to try out that was recommended to me was because I'm using Noelle as my main healer, I should actually switch her weapon to the White Iron Greatsword. Because even though its base attack is significantly weaker, it gives her more percentage defense. And her attack damage really doesn't matter that much because you just want to get her to her ult. And her ult is where everything scales with defense. That defense now. We're over a thousand. Let's test out that healing. The first opportunity we got. Where's that tree? That tree's over here, right? There, we've seen these people before. What's that? No, wait, it's illusion, wasn't it? Isn't Rue lucky? Don't be silly. Oh, sorry. And the fact that I'm only doing the work over here makes it even worse. That's Ipe and Makiri. It looks like they're making an offering to the perch. Oh, Paimon has an idea. What a coincidence! So do I. They said that the purges are key to the ceremony, and so people need to make offerings there to protect them. Well, the ceremony won't be able to continue if we destroy the purges, right? But they're illusions of the past. Well, even if that's so, I don't you think that it's worth a shot? I think we're gonna cause this fucking shit to happen. Because the island's still here. 
the island is destroyed when it's all said and done. Since these islanders love their Thunderbird and the perches and stuff so much, let's just give them a wrecking it give wrecking them a go. They said that these perches contain the Thunderbird's power, right? Maybe they'll react if we blow them away. It is a health bar. All right, Amber. Let it rain. It has so much health, though. With sword from shadow. As a good knight should. Leave it all to me. Tingly starts to flew up. Reminds Paimon when we were looking for those. Let's get looking. Just how much we're healing. Come on, hit me. Someone needs assistance. Ugh. I missed a spot. Leave it all to me. Three eighty two. Light. 
Leave no stone unturned. reacting oh no we're causing events to happen my theory was correct yeah. oh it works it really works come on let's go get to the rest the perch what's going on here This is bad. I don't think this is the right plan anymore. I think we're about to cause things to go wrong. This way. Oh my, you can really still see that storm going over Sayai Island in the distance.
I don't think they expected me to do this. Got a lot of health. Alright. Things are going okay. Hell is that over there? I don't, oh, yeah, those are those fucking triangle things. I'll race you there. I that. Ooh, bird eggs. Bet you can't keep up with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Time gated. We're basically just backtracking to do a few side quests that I've skipped. time we've came to this island, so I don't know how much is left. I'm fighting trees now. This is the height of the gameplay.
chest. That means free health for Amber. It's all teapot shit that's in here, too. I'll race you there. This place is not so much hard, it's just tedious. I won't let you down. Hang on. Pay attention to stamina again, because I'm a moron. Uh... Hey, second Goro. Can see this is the benefit of not wanting to pull for anybody is that I can do something stupid, like every death means I pull, and then I just get characters incidentally. And then if I get characters incidentally, it gives me an incentive to pull without having to like just put all my faith into pulling for whomever or whatever. Rushing Hound, swift as wind. When characters other than Goro are within the field of the AoE of Goro's General War Banner, General's Glory, deal geo damage to opponents. The cooldown of Goro's Inazuka all round defense decreases by two seconds, as effect occurs once every ten seconds. That sounds good. I might actually want to play this character now at some point. Well, the objective here is obvious, so we're going to help Mr. Forgetful out while we're here, because I believe he wanted us to... Oh, it's over there? Oh, it's that weird underground ruins portion. Maybe we won't do that. Maybe they could have given this tree less health just to make this less tedious. And now it's immune to damage. Super tanky. Meaning, the fact that I can't kill it all in one go makes it irrelevant how much health it has.
must leave no stone unturned. I'll catch up. Propagate! health back. Fun. Fun bullcrap fun. <laughs> nice. Now I have two R5 debate clubs. <laughs> Is, well, there's a lot of weird gimmicks in this game that are combat gimmicks that I feel are arbitrarily stupid. One of them being the corrosion mechanic. The withering is super dumb. And the dragon spine mechanic I find especially annoying. <laughs> Hey! 
Now we can fight the tanky tree again. With sword comes shadow. Speed of light. Two trees, or technically three trees down, one to go. Unfortunately, the last one is in the most annoying area. Son of a bitch. I hate this corrosion effect, and it's even more annoying to keep track of when there's more enemies around. Was it meant for this world? Party. fucking enemies.
up a gate. burn through all my fucking healing items. Can't heal them anymore. They're full. I must leave no stone unturned. It's all up to Noel. Because Noel's invincible. Boss. That was like four. That was five enemies. And it made me burn through with half of the healing items that I have stockpiled over the course of three streams. About like what? What was that? Nine minutes of gameplay. Just completely undermined two hours of prep. Holy fucking bullcrap. Let me guess your full health. You came back? Motherfucker. This motherfucker came back for more after he ran away for a full heal. So many healing items on this one fucking enemy. Opening a chest is like a unwrapping a gift.
Oh my god. No escape. I hope I never have to fucking come back here again. That should be all those perches. Let's hope that it's enough to stop the ceremony. Oh, let's just well hope so, eh? I think that these perches all got destroyed on the day of the ceremony, because that's why whenever we got to the ceremony, the time loop or fucking end or whatever, everyone just fucking disappeared. But they reacted to that first perch going, being destroyed, which means they probably all got destroyed. And then this is what actually was supposedly happened. We should go to the ceremonial site. That's right. Always wanted us to be part of that ceremony. Let's hope it doesn't end the same way this time. They fucking aggroed. Who aggroed? Of course it's more of these fuckers. I hate these guys. Undermine the entire mechanics of the healing system, why don't you? Cut to the chase. Speed of light. Good. from the storm. Well, that just happened. That was close. We barely managed to get out. So this is the storm that Kama talked about. It also could have been a result of us destroying the purchase. That's true, they did have power in them after all. Uh-oh. It's If it's storming out there, Rue might be in danger. I'm not sure we'll be able to find him. It'll be hard, but we should go check out check on him anyway. Let's double back and see where we can find him then. Look for Rue again. to make food. What is... Uh, I guess these meat rolls are the best that I have access to. I can make red b bolognese. Oh, this is pretty good. Fish rolls.
have the radish veggie soup. And then we can get... What's the tea break? I can make a special dish of this. Stir fried filet. kind of clear as well. Oh, there he is. There's Rue. Ooh, cutscene. Rue, you're all right. Dan, Paimon, why did you do this? Eh? I thought the two of you were good, strong people. And that you'd be different from the others. You came back to look for me, listened to everything I said. I thought the ceremony would go well this time, but... You want to stop the ceremony. That way you'll be safe. Why do you want the ceremony to proceed? Back then, something happened. Something went wrong. Things were going so well. But then I woke up. I found that the island had become like this. Everyone was weird. No one could see me. No one could hear me. Then after a while, the storm would start. It would be super scary. At these times, only Wakaku, Oina, and Autake wouldn't be struck by lightning. I'd hide there and wait for the storm to end. But once the thunder stopped, everything would repeat all over again. I would wake up and everyone would be doing the same things. Capatisir is missing too. I couldn't find her. Not even on Mount Kana. The ceremony must, be go must have gone wrong. We must have made her angry. That's why I prepared another ceremony. And another and another. But it always ends the same. That's why I had the idea of bringing people from the outside. I thought that you were my friends and that you'd help me. Actually, hold on a minute. Who's Capatisir anyway? He brings him up a lot. She's the Thunderbird, isn't she? That's right. That's what they call her. She's our guardian deity. If the ceremony goes smoothly, Capatisir will be pleased. That way everyone will be happy. In the past, Capatisir said paid no attention to the people who were offered to her. But I'm different. That's why I have to make sure the ceremony goes well. That way everyone can go back to normal and live their lives again. Big brother Ipe, big sister Makiri will get married. Kina and Kito will grow up to become great adventurers. Once things are better here, big sister Saya will come back. Big brother Kama too. And dad will no longer have to be afraid of Kapatisir's wrathful lightning. Your ancient god is dead. Everyone would realize that the outside world isn't a bad place because there are good people in it like you. 
So why? Why did you ruin the ceremony? Because this isn't right. It's not true. This is right. Don't come back here again. There's going to be another storm. It's going to be super scary. Just go already. I don't want to see you fa your face ever again. Sobs. Oh, and we made him sad. Let's report this back to Miss Subida. All right. Let's go. Ah, it's you two. Have there been any new developments? Yeah, your 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 friend Kama is kind of an asshole that literally can't function unless someone asks him to do something. And anyway, that's how we may have accidentally caused events to transpire the way they were supposed to. I've got it now. Let's break this down simply. According to the your plot, the flow of time in Surumi Island does not match the outside world. If it were me, it certain I certainly would, as you have, ascribe this to a special ley line disorder. I doubt that such a ley line disorder could occur naturally, so let's just say it fell from the skies, maybe a fragment of Celestia or something. With then mixed together the lightning storms created by the Thunderbird to create these phenomena, and I'd give this plot a 4 out of 10 maybe. It's usable, but hard to execute. There should be a more elegant way of writing this. What do you mean when you say plot, anyway? Oh, don't worry about it. It's nothing of particular note. So if we want to push the story forward, we need a few more plot points in play. For example, the Surumi tragedy was born from misunderstanding. That's what I would write, anyway. For example, the priests in Rue might have taken the Thunderbird's favor upon Rue as a sign that it wanted him as a sacrifice, but in truth, the Thunderbird might have just liked him in particular. I suppose the resolution of such plot line would simply be to find a way to convey Rue's feelings to the Thunderbird. Would that really work? Well, I can't say for sure, but I don't think that there's any problem with the progression, per se. I remember a very popular series that ran for at least a few dozen volumes with this plot as the basis for its story. You just need to find some way to continuously insert various happenings that pose obstacles to the misunderstanding's resolution and allow the f it to fester. Why, that book... Can we get back on topic? Oh, right, sorry. <laughs> but according to the developments you mentioned, since the Thunderbird was vanquished on Seire Island and Rue himself is but a shade from the past, then you can only avert this catastrophe via some mystical means. This is really quite a hard write. There are so many things that would be hard to explain unacceptable. The Chronicles of the Sea of Fog working title can't be this sort of story. Do you have any other ideas? Mind if we say something about Kama for a moment? Oh, you've seen him around then? We haven't told her about Kama yet? Wait, what? Kama is a descendant of Surumi Island's natives? Let's go look for him right now. We need more clarification. Kama's gonna tell us that someone destroyed the perches and that's what angered the Thunderbird. It says, Dan says, I am a descendant of the Surumi Island natives. Why didn't you tell me that earlier? All those times I got you to send people there. You never asked. God, this guy's annoying. Well, 
That's just how you are, but... Nor willing... Nor will telling Surumi's story edify anyone. My father clung to that story till his dying day. From the time I was young, he would often take me there. It's a gloomy place, one filled with nothing but terrible memories. But had you asked me, Lady Sumida, I would have told you. You should have a bit more faith in him. You're right. If I had been more willing to ask for this opinion and trusted him more, I wouldn't have had to do this in such a roundabout fashion. I'm sorry, Kama. It's all right. Well then, as a remnant of the Surumi Island, what do you think of this? The last sign of Surumi returns to his desolate homeland, only to be caught up in a twisted weft of time. Simply put, you hear the call of the a ancestors ahead into the mist of Surumi Island, following the sound of the Mashiro. You traverse the fog, only to realize that you approach the site of the millennia-old ceremony. That you've become the same ancestor who bore your name all those years ago. There you experience the island's final day until violet lightning and roaring thunder rend the skies. Then you awake only to have the same day begin again. Well, what do you think? This Is this plot of the novel is amazing, grand prize worthy? Will this really work? It's not that impressive. Thank you. Uh, I get it, I get it. You probably greatly value Surumi's history, so... Oh, it's no surprise that you might be offended by my fictional appropriations. So how about this, then? I'm not talking about that. Surumi's history doesn't matter all that much to me. I feel that this plot doesn't grab me as much as the... Toki Alley Tales or the Kino's Travels. <laughs> Are they making fun of the bows at Bungo Stray Dogs? Or something? Kino's Travels? that you read to me before, nor does it quite flow freely as the three young nobles. Journey of the Three Kings? Oof, that was blunt of you. Sorry. Don't apologize. Moments like this- I feel like a third wheel here. Don't apologize. At moments like this, it's just what it feels like more hurtful as a writer. I shouldn't have apologized. It's so annoying, but most annoying of all is the fact that I can't refute your critique. Need to write something that Kama will find interesting. Yes, yes, I know that. I'll do that. Kama has heard a lot of stories after all. If he finds them interesting, I'm sure the editor will too. Don't give up either, Paimon. Paimon is just thinking. Paimon's never giving up, mind you. Paimon is just thinking. Could we try the method that Miss Sumida just mentioned? What did I say? I've already forgotten. Well, we can give it a go. But you're the one who said not to give up, Dan. Paimon won't either. And anyway, we didn't agree to have a good meal in Kimamati Restaurant once we finish this, right? I don't think I follow exactly, but it's good... I forgot that we made that promise. But it's good to see Paimon so spirited. You're talking to the illustrious Paimon, after all. Well then, about this commission of ours, we'll continue plumbing the depths of Surumi Island's mysteries. Alright, in that case, I look forward to your next report. How do your adventurers say it again? Ad Astra Abasask. Oh, great. Well, we can... World level adjustment. The, the change world level function is now unlocked. When you view world level details, you can now decrease the world level by one to restore your world level. The world level increases, you'll gain more bountiful treasures, but the opponents roaming the world will also grow stronger. Neat. <laughs> this represents the level of challenge proposed to adventures by the world. Your world level will increase 
along with your adventure rank. From level 20 onwards, your world level increased by one every five adventure lengths. After reaching five, the option to decrease your world level will become available. You can reduce your world level by one by decreasing the world level. Lowers the level of ley line blossoms and opponents in the world, open world. Also decreases the rewards you gain from defeating them. After changing your world level, you cannot change it again for the next 24 hours. Whether you wish to restore your world level after decreasing it or decrease it after restoring it, it will take wait for bars. Cool. I'm not ready for a level four, five fucking world. We are not ready for that nonsense. You saw how much we were dying already at world level four. Looks like the Through the Mists thing is gone again, so... We now do the Starry Night chapter. <laughs> Let's see what the Aramites are up to. I might actually be able to ascend Amber today. I can double check. Because I think I just need to kill the Pyro Regisvine one more time. And I think I can put her up to level 70. When I have like a full party of level 70 people, I'll consider putting the world level back up to 5. Yeah, I should be able to. In fact, we'll take this opportunity to do some si more side questing. Let's get some ascension materials. This will be the only boss we fight right now. Because... Maybe... Do I need to fight the kit, the Geo Cube too? I've, I've forgotten that if, I, if I've leveled up Noelle to her final ascension that I need. We could get lucky and do that today, but odds are we won't. Whereas Amber, we just need land grass. <laughs> At least this boss is easy.
Someone needs assistance. Huh? How little damage we do is Noel. We've gone back to doing two digit numbers. Scatter! Now we just need a crafting bench. I think there's one over here in Leeway. Should probably level up Noel's weapon too. Somebody showed me this neat trick the other day. Eh. Hey! a lot of weapons, so... Getting this damage up matters quite a bit. I need two more of these. Four more of these.
Ruin Hunters, Ruin Guards, Stardust Exchange. But hey, that's a lot more defense on Noel. Look at that. We're almost at 1,200. Hey, there's something strange over there. Come on, let's take a look. And I need three of these purple <laughs> ones, right? Which means I need... Oh, I don't think I have enough. But I can make three of these. Now I just need lamp grass, which I can go grab in Wolfendom. This is going to be the Amber Ascension chapter when you look at the YouTube chapters, so... We're going to see this through to the bitter end. And then we'll check on what the Aramites are doing. Because uh, I'm willing to stream for about another three hours. I li would like to stream for about another two, but if it means we have to stream another three, we will. Hmm. Oh, that's loading. Alright. <laughs> Gotta go get that lamp grass at night. It's always under the trees. grass up ahead. Oh wow, we dropped a chunky ton of frames right there. <laughs> Bet you can't keep up with me. Me. 
in the starting area and enemies are still over level 50. Someone needs assistance. A lot of game lag. I must leave no stone unturned. My ping's ain't about to hit 100, that's probably why. Opening a chest is like a unwrapping a gift. Need eight more. <laughs> Whispering Woods. Stop whispering woods. Uh -oh, this way. Keep this close. It's still technically night. Recommended in this area, my ass. Five more. Mondstadt seem to have gotten smaller. Or is it that my sight reaches further than ever before? I'll race you there! Alright. We can now start leveling Amber.
All right. That didn't take too much of a long of a too long of a detour. Which means we can now start this Starry Night chapter. We go to the land of Dendro. Ah, friends. How nice is it to see someone alive in this dump? They call me Lunja. The Farokazdan. Even though technically I am a... Faro... Farok the Docked. These are my boys. My boys! Minim. Ziri. Very good. Very upbeat. As you can see, me and the boys welcome you here. Please, help yourself to a hot meal. Ahem. Right, Minim Ziri? Minim Ziri? Dude, these guys have cool designs. We got a fucking facial hair with an eye patch over here. You can't, can't see it behind me, but this guy's got like a double belt bandana thing going. Ah, uh, Miss Lunja, they don't look very enthusiastic. Show them some enthusiasm, boys! Uh. <laughs> Welcome, strangers. Is it weird that I see this big, muscular guy with, like, facial hair, eye patch, mustache, beard, and I immediately think, I imagine him with Vincent Price, or not Vincent Price, Jameson Price's voice is the voice I imagine from this character, though it probably isn't. My apologies, they're from the desert and haven't gotten used to the rainforest. It's humid and stuffy, and you can wring, wring water out of your shirt, pants, and bandana. It's such a mess after every fight. You probably know that we have a thousand terms to classify sand, tens of thousands of ways to deal with it, but moisture in plants? I'm out. They make me uncomfortable the whole time I feel like I'm never able to deal with them. That's enough of my nagging. Job comes first, and too much complaining hurts morale. After all, life is life, but business is still business, right? Paimon, you're a little close. Paimon thinks we just ran into a bunch of weirdos. They are weird. We should lo leave as soon as we can. Well, they are weird. <laughs> what is with Aether's, like, aversion to being around people? Like, Aether's first go-to seems to be, I'm leaving. All the time. Excuse me, but I didn't catch your names. Where did you come from? What are you doing here? Just call me Dan. Paimon's name is Paimon. We're here, too. We're adventurers, just passing by. Is that so? We could be in this rain... We could be in this rainforest that is worth risking your lives for? What could be in this rainforest that's worth risking your life for? It depends on what we'll find. Ah, so your adventure... So adventurers are such interesting people. May the gale and sand never blind you. And may you find what you seek. We don't mean to interrupt, boss, but... It's time we get going. Alright. We've got to run, my friends. Sorry we can't extend our hospitality. Once we part, you're on your own. Without the desert folk watching your back, you'd better keep an eye out for wild beasts. The savage jungle is just like the desert. In the desert, when you leave your tribe, you're on your own. You will need you'll be easy prey for hungry beasts. Is that a threat? A threat? 
Why would I threaten my friends? It's just a kind reminder. Who do you think I am? I just met you minutes ago. How irritating. Come, Minim, Ziri, let's go. The wait, the pot. Just leave it there, our new friend. With our new, leave it there for our new friends. Let's go. Those people are weird. We're probably going to see more of them. Those guys are weird. So eager to get chummy. Better be careful. Yes, yes, you should be careful. Well, since you both say so. Huh? Hey, you startled me. That's Paimon's line. Speaking of which, little one, who are you? Aronikin. Isn't the little one. Aronikin is Aronikin. You can't listen to those sand grains. They're liars. With bad minds who are here for the Aranara. Bad minds. Bad minds. Bad, bad minds. What? Paimon doesn't get that at all. White Floaty is silly, so White Floaty didn't get it. <laughs> White Floaty. That's a good nickname for her. Well, hey! He's talking about those people from just now. They must have some sort of scheme. Nara Dan Smart. That's what our that's what Aronikin means. Huh, you know our names? Aronikin Smart. When you talk to them, I listen. I heard that Nara that Nara's name is Dan. And that your name is Paimon. But Floaty Paimon is silly and doesn't understand Aronikin. Floaty Paimon is like that. <laughs> Floaty Paimon is like that, it's true. Is there something we can do for you? Hey, Paimon is not silly. Paimon, we're having a conversation here, Floaty Paimon. <laughs> First, we need to find a Zora Mushroom. Zora Mushroom is little sh shiny spots, just like my songs. But to find a Zora Mushroom, you need Kusava. Um, um, that's fine. You guys are great. Aronikin can entrust Kusava to you. It comes again, things Paimon doesn't understand. Kusawa, I'm assuming it's a song. Fatty fruit, bitter fruit, temporary home of Aranara memories. Kusava makes Aranara strong. Mawatiwa. Matiyima is feeling sick. Marana is getting bigger. We must go quickly, quickly. Wait a sec, we don't even know where we're going. Zora mushrooms. We need Zora mushrooms. To prepare Arohoma. We need Arohoma to help Mawiti Mati Matiyima be lively again. I know where Zora Mushroom is. I take you there. Alright. <laughs> He's running off. This guy's getting straight to the point. Kusawa. New gadget. Utilize the power of the RNR. Fatty fruit, bitter fruit, a temporary home for RNR. Memories Kusaba have are strong. Hmm. Cannot use. Oh. Let's just keep the fucking loot on then. Kusava and Aronikin. When you travel with Aronikin, you can use the Kusava to call upon his power and repair certain broken elemental monuments. Well, that was fast. As soon as I unequip it, I need it. This is quick. Let's put it together. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Ooh, piece of candy. Oh, 
over here, Nara Dan Floaty Paimon. There's water everywhere. That Zora mushroom, you mentioned it. Oh, there's water everywhere. That Zora mushroom you mentioned, is it really here? Here, underwater, rocks and vines protect and cover him. So he's safe in water. Rocks blessed by Nara Varuna broke apart by themselves after many, many moonsets. Broken rocks seal off the path to Zora Mushroom and protect him. Aronikin can repair the rocks and make the water leave, so we can find Zora Mushroom. The Kusava to s Use the Kusava to summon Aronikin's power. Aronikin trusts you with great Kusava as well. Of course, we'll cherish anything you entrust us with. Hmm. Kusava, Kusava. Cool Sequan. Why singing all of a sudden? Aronikin sings happy songs because there's hope for Mawatima. Matiyama. Matiyima. Matiyima. Because Nara is willing to help. Propagate! Kind of cool if you can fix these. There goes the water. A little bit. There's the last one. Use Kusava on it. the water level. This is Zora Mushroom. It looks so mundane. Hmm, this is... eh? Just an ordinary mushroom. Very cunning. Very clever. So we wasted our effort, but where is the Zora Mushroom? Zora Mushroom is no ordinary mushroom. Thus more cunning and clever. He's probably escaped by now. Mushrooms can run away too? Of course, they don't have roots, they, but can absorb nutrients in the rocks. They don't have legs, but can run. For they are mushrooms, not plants. But do not fret, Nara Dan. Let me ask him. Let me ask this. Follow. It said Zora Mushroom went to the cave as Marana. Zora Mushroom went to a cave that Marana, which dissolved in the water, is very dangerous. Why would Zora Mushroom go there? Because Marana moves too fast. And must be stopped. Zora Mushroom can stop Marana, but won't hold up for long. We better get going and save the mushroom. Yes, we must hurry. I'm still grabbing this mushroom. It's very good for Kalei's upgrade materials. Thank you. 
another target tracked down by Outrider Amber. Finally out. Let's look for the cave where the Zora Mushroom is. Hmm, them again. Oh, this cave. I'm dumb. And blind. <gasps> oh, these people. Stop. You cannot enter. Why are you people here again? Come on, what are you doing here? Out on a date, perchance? <laughs> he looks really angry right by that. You can't even come up with an answer? That's so suspicious. You can't enter. You can't enter, and that's that. You too serious? It's three. Three at least. Pardon my boys. They're not good with words. I have already made it clear that I never threaten friends. It was just a warning, that's all. Whatever you want is not in this cave. Unless it's death. Everything dies in there, no matter what it is. Don't try to scare us. We're experienced with... We've experienced all kinds of danger. Just like the new... Th Are these the three stooges of this game? Is that what this they're setting up here? Larry, Moe, and Curly Joe over here? I'll let y'all decide who's who. Why would I try to scare you when you're... I'm elated to see you again. I'm just worried about your safety. We discovered a withering zone inside. That's why we've drawn a circle to the entrance and warned commoners from wandering in. Where's the circle, then? Where's the circle? <laughs> Tell me now, where's the circle? I, uh... <laughs> uh... You're the boss, so there's one if you say so. Regardless, my friends, the cave is treacherous and unpredictable. I suggest you leave now. I am no commoner. That's what we all thought when we picked up on our... F what we, That's what we all thought when we picked up our first sword until we saw blood for the first time. All right, all right. Don't listen to me, then. Like I said, I warned you about the goodness of my heart. Go in if you insist. It's not like you're hiring us to be your bodyguards, right? Come on, boys. We're out of here. <laughs> Let's go. These people are weird. We are definitely going to run into them again. They are drawing too much attention to them. Maybe they'll be important in a later story quest. But they're not voiced characters, which makes me concerned that they are giving a lot of attention to these side characters that we'll probably never see again. Uh, 
I am here. Nara, Dan, and White Floaty. Well, where have you been? Some bad sand grains were here. They were up to no good, so I didn't want to come out. Are you referring to those Aramite mercenaries? Are you afraid of them? White Floaty, wrong. I am not afraid. They're weak. I'm strong. Strong to the point of hiding? No. Nara Dan only says irritating things. Anyway, the water here. It's showing some strange colors. Do you think it's because of the withering? Correct. It is Marana. It permeates the water. and dances like mist. So you can't drink the water. And it makes the plants sick. Thanks to Zora Mushroom, Marana has withdrawn a little. But Marana is still too much to... Still too much around. Zora Mushroom is not feeling well. He is in danger. But the place is all affected by the withering. How are we supposed to get close? Look at that old rock over there. Repair it. And crack the pond should open enough. It drain water away. But even if we can drain the water, what are we going to do with the withering here? Well, well. We'll worry about that later. We also have to break the seal protecting Zora Mushroom to let him join us. Alright, let's get to work then. Why is this called the Starry Night Chapel? Gusava temporarily making plans changed by Rana and also surround- oh, Fuck, I can't read him that fast. Okay, though. I could take it. Propagate! Oh, that killed him. Nice. The water level has been lowered. There's the Zora Mushroom. This looks like the same ordinary mushroom as last time. Hmm, it's sealed. You need to look around for stones that can lift the seal. Use the Kusava. Well, nothing comes easy.
I have been lost. So we went through this cave. this way. <laughs> this puts us right under that teleport waypoint. Puzzle brain is racking. Propagate. Okay, so it wants us to go this way. There's like two of these right next to each other. Is that an oversight? We can start dealing with the witherings. My water has been drained. Marana has been revealed.
is like a unwrapping a gift. All right. Now we can just navigate this puzzle without the interruption. Of the wither. Stone of Naravara. <laughs> oh, this is, how did I? I walked right past this one. Apologize, but please stop here. I'm paying attention. Sorry for what's about to come, my friend. Speed of light! <sighs> Nowhere to hide. Let it rain. Scatter! Where do you think you're going? Nothing to crack. It's the air am I? Paima knew they were up to miss something. The Zora mushroom is gone. Look over there. Lunja! Yeah, full sand grains. Follow them. I 
patlayınca This place is booby trapped to hell. These guys are really sly foxes. Well, we caught up to them regardless. Minim, Ziri, I got it. Find a messenger to inform the client. We're leaving now. Those were tough opponents. The Withering couldn't stop them. Anka and his son got hurt, too. So before they catch up with us... Boss. Did you hear what I said? What are you waiting for? He's here already. I'm all ears. Please continue. <sighs> I just can't get rid of you, can I? Sorry, my friends. We just wanted the Zora Mushroom for our client. It's just business. Nothing personal. It's, it's just good business. Is that a Pirates of the Caribbean reference? <laughs> friends? We're not friends. How can you still call us that? What do you mean, little one? I already apologize. Let's just let bygones be bygones, okay? Uh-huh. You! Seriously. You've proven you're extraordinary by giving Akin an insult by Anka and Nissan, a good thrashing. I admire warriors just like you. It's my honor to be your friend, but business is business. I'm afraid you sure under- I'm sure you understand. I'd hate to break our friendship. It would be such a shame to let some boring business get in the way of our friends. Hand over the Zora Mushroom. Take it easy, my friend. You're the ones who are cornered in this cave. You want to risk your life for it? Not a problem. But I'd rather not see more of the people, my people, get hurt over a lousy mushroom. The pay's just not worth it. So let's make a deal. Who would trust a scammer like you? Well, that depends on how much you're willing to pay. Ready for combat. Offer your list. Let's hear your offer first. So you're serious about doing business with her? Hey, if we can pay our way out of a fight, I'll take it. I'll make it short, then. A rich man in the Academia hired us, the Eremites, to find the Zora Mushroom in the forest. The pay is very good, but the deadline's very tight. And as you can see, a young and charming woman like me really, really needed Mora. You know the rest. Sorry for using you to get the, the Zora almost killing, um, almost stopping you from pursuing me. But since you are alive and kicking, we're still friends. Let's let bygones be bygones, all right? No, that's attempted murder. Let bygones be bygones. Someone should have got, could have gotten killed. Well, that's exactly what I'm worried about. They're all my family. I don't want to endanger anyone. So it's a bad deal. Before, it seemed peaceful. a peaceful resolution is the way to go. But what do you want the mushroom for anyway? We needed to save the forest. God, Aether has like some fucking vicious lines for this. 
Hmm. That old man did mention the Zora Mushroom is key to eradicating the withering. And that was why he wanted us to get it at all costs. Watch the man from the withering be fucking Tainari, and then we're fucking really impeding this. But it ain't anything valuable. And the withering in these blasted woods have nothing to do with the desert dwellers. The intrinsic value of the mushroom, plus labor, medical expenses for Anka and Isin, fines for the breach of contract, and a little extra to compensate a friend... That comes out to 405,000 mora and not a penny less. How's that? You're getting off cheap. What? That's a robbery. 500,000 mora for calling me a robber and hurting my feelings. We're traitors, so watch your words. That is like, I think, almost all of my money. Giving you guys a good thrashing seems like the better deal here. Is that so-called buyer's pride? I like it. Take everything valuable from them. I wonder if... I wonder if it would have actually let me pay that. Because I have... That would have been a third of all of my money. Fight the bunny. We'll take out the leader first. No more tricks up your sleeve. Scatter. Was he? Was that Todd Haberkorn's voice? I must leave no stone on no escape. Speed of light. Good. With sword comes shadow. Well, you picked on the wrong person. The Zora Mushroom is ours now. Impressive. Nara Dan made those bad sand grains run off in a couple of moves. Pow, smash. That's Super Fighter Dan Nara Dan for you. I tried negotiations, but this, the price that they were asking for was too high. If it was like a two, if it was less than two hundred thousand, I probably would have paid it. <laughs> Aronikin's right to trust you. Naradan is no sand grain, but a mighty seed. Aronikin must sing about it and let everyone in the woods know. Yay, Kusava, Kusava! Kusikwan, Kusihan. Kusava, happy! Aronikin is going to Matiyama Forest to meet up with friends. You must come see us and join the ritual coming up. Oh yeah, friend Aragaru is waiting for you too. I'll tell plants along the way to inform you that you're coming. He'll be waiting for you in a cave where the moon falls. He'll guide you to the dead Nara's old home. The walking shroomkin. Now live there. Be careful. Bear that in mind. Oh, and uh, don't go yet. Aronikin loves to sing and share songs with friends, but Aronikin does not know if Nara could hear Aranara's songs. Yes, we can. Paimon loves to sing, too. Then Aronikin will give you this song. Please take the song leaf. Follow its veins with Nara's voice. And song will come out. If you mean that, uh, we can follow the score and learn your song? Yes, yes. Paimon the white floaty can be smart sometimes. Okay, that probably came out wrong, but thanks. Thank you. I'll cherish it. Yes, together! Rhythm of Revival Aronikin's song can be used to borrow the power of plants to repair some broken elemental monuments. Play the song on the, on the vintage lyre the next to the broken monuments to restore their functions. Alright. I'm all for work-life balance, but I think this is pushing it. We got 30k Mora for completing that. I, I'm actually kind of curious now if anyone actually just paid them off. 
I liked them. They were an interesting cast of characters. But because they are bandits, we have they have voided their fucking rights to life, I guess. Such extreme measures. I knew I still haven't gotten that fucking I still haven't gotten that waypoint at the north end of Sumer. I should also probably collect my uh, guild rewards as we pass through. Unless Catherine's still on her break. Add Astra Abyss. Catherine, it's you again. Got Farazan as my gold farm. Padisara. I thought these things didn't grow anymore. I could have sworn that, that Nilu said that these flowers went extinct. Why are they growing everywhere? Or are they fake Padisaras that they're planting everywhere? They're freaking everywhere. Still doing this Agnihotra Sutra quest line. <laughs> that the friend uh, Aronikin mentioned, right? Looks like he's been waiting for us. Aragaru. Aragaru. Golden Nara and White Floaty, you are here. I am Aragaru. Ugh. Plants and mushrooms told me you would come. I have waited for a very long time. Eh, you know us? Do you need so us for something? Yes, something big. Very big. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Take your time. Marana is growing. Bigger, bigger. Force afraid to speak. Afraid to breathe. Marana wants to take them. To Marana. Aranga. Aranga. To Marana, Aranaga is very is busy preparing for Arahoma ritual, but Arahoma still needs the barsom flower. Paimon sees, but where can we find the barsom flower? Paimon, you got his name right. Barsom flower, impressive, right? The barsom flower is at the mu is where mushrooms grow, a place where Nara home. Many, many moon rises and moon sets ago. But then, wet dirt covered Nara dreams. And new plants grew in their memories. They were dried up and reborn generation after generation. The kind of place you want to go. Paimon doesn't quite understand, but it sounds very 
Sounds pretty scary. He's describing a cemetery, is what it sounds like in my head, but I could be wrong. Not scary, not scary. Plants love places where Nara are scared of. So lots of plants there. There are runes left by Nara, Ara Nara there, but not forgetting and recalling after forgetting. Go there and find the Barsom flower. Let's go to the Arangangu's place, see what they're talking about. Alright, and also Kusava. With Kusava, Aranara's song strong can clear the path for everyone. Aragaru can smash the rocks. Ha! Yeah! Boom! Aragaru is so tiny but so strong. <laughs> yes, very strong. But it has to be cracked rock with green vines. The one with no cracks, not strong enough to smash them. What's a barsom flower? Barsom flower is Aranara's good friend. Born of Arahoma. It is a source of potion. Hmm. Have to sacrifice juice to refine Arahoma. Moon comes and goes. Not much left now. Walking shroomkin are always inside, increasing now. It's very bad. We must hurry. This place where Nara once made their home. These are the Aranara here. Use Kusava and I can bake Big Rock. Then we can get in. God damn it. It's just a stupid fruit. Come on, enough procrastinating. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> I thought the game crashed. Income. Hey! Okay, and the cave. Kusava and Aragaru. There's so many fungi. Only the initial strike is the one that uses her defense when you press the the burst. Risen Moon Chapter. Let's continue onwards. This is where Nara and Nara recorded their stories together. Here's the Nara story. Nara story end. He just didn't finish his thought. Walking Shroomkin. Yeah, story too. Now they're here too. You gotta drive them off so they multiply and complete this nutrients. Let it rain. This it looks like a child's drawing. What's it supposed to be? A memory. Aranara memories can store tubers and seeds, and flow in, le in leaf veins. But Nara memories are carved in the stones. Whenever the moon high up in the sky, the three of us Aranara would come here, recall the stories from the past, just like Nara. Then what's in this drawing? It not drawing. It's a rune. It's a river of light, and in it are flower stems blooming with stars. The river and stars send us brave Nara. The Grand Master of Verdu cultivated the bud of wisdom in the hearts of brave Nara, and let Ara Nara guide them to the glimmering water cave. 
that's it. There are other runes nearby. Let's go see them. Stone he can break. Grand Master of Verdu lifted the flowery vines, letting the brave Nara pass through the cave of the realm of Cobb. With the help of the Aranara, the brave Nara expelled Marana together with the Barsom Flower. The dark Marana fled, vanishing in an instant. <laughs> Big cracked stone, let me break it. Where? Up, there's Barsom Flower Stream. The flower can slip on water, floating and wobbling. No risk of being hurt by Piranha. The realm of Cobb is up ahead, outside the cave. We must be careful on the way there. The earth is where the Nara sleep. Once here, where stone become stone homes the Nara made, but after they fell, sleep plants came from the, their dreams and became the owners of this place. Oh. Why does White Floaty understand? Does White Floaty understand? Not really. Because Floaty is silly. So that's why. Hey, whose side are you on? I'm on the side of the people that can save the lives of our dear friends. See the exit.
Bet you can't keep up with me. <laughs> Nara left the stones. Deadly memories. Nara Varuna here cried for them on a place which was in the memories of Nara Varuna and Lorraine as far as converging the realm of God becoming a dream. Flowers and flower can't be harmed. Paimon doesn't understand. So that place you mentioned is up ahead? I feel like running. Yep, yep. R right up ahead. I'll race you there. This is the place. But this is blocked by vines. There's no way I can get in. Don't fret, White Floaty. Watch me. Ah! How'd you do that? Paimon wants to learn this. I don't think it's the sort of thing that can be learned. I want to learn too. Aragaru can talk with vines. So the vines will make their way for Aragaru. The language of vines is like singing. It's hard to learn for Nara. But if Nara wants to learn, I will teach you. Paimon wants to learn. Please teach Paimon later, Aragaru. Okay. I don't forget you. Let's jump down here. Nara and White Floaty can fly, so there's no need. I love it when they put collectibles on a path that I'm going to have to get through anyway. I wonder if I have 20 of those yet. I must leave no stone unturned. Cut to the chase. With sword come shadow. That's everything. On to the next. This is the realm of Cobb. It's where plants and sweet dreams hide. See, growing over there is the parsum flower. Wow. It's so quiet here. 
Yeah, a little too quiet. Paimon is having goosebumps. The realm of Cobb is very weak. Shroomkin came in. Not a ate lots of nutrients. But the barsom flower is not hurt. Not yet. Let's go lift this seal. Then talk to him. We didn't really talk to the fucking mushroom, though. Okay, we'll lift the seal. Then you can go talk to him. The water is overhead. Looks pretty quiet. Paimon's still worried, though. What will she do if one comes pouring down on us? Yeah. Oh, we'll, we'll investigate the Seelies first. That seems to be... Hey, there's a cave entrance. Let's go check it out. Is it taking us? Propagate. Something inside the stone, right? That's a big flower. I knew following the sea was the right choice. Which means this one will probably lead us the other way, right? Let's go check it out. Cave entrance. empty. Must be 
something inside the stone. All right. One more. Invisible mushroom. Scatter! The vines are retreating. Let's get out of here. You coming? It's gone. We lifted it. <laughs> All these fuckers. Close to the edge of the map. There's a stone. Oh, there it is. Propagate! It's open. Let's check what's inside. Shadow. As long as 
so I can fight him in the water. This will be easy. Speed of light. Steals the flower. Are the Aramites gonna steal this one too? Seal's gone? Alright. Aragaru needs to talk to the Barsom Flower, right? Shh, shh, quiet. Don't wake him. He whispers to the flower. The Barsom Flower w was waken up from his dream by us. He is very angry. Eh? But if it's for Arahoma, then I suppose we, we can be forgiven. Barsom flower. Barsom flower for Arahoma for Matiyama's revival. Please join us. Uh, oh, eh? Can you understand them? Paimon can't hear anything. Great, the Barsom flower agreed to, t to adventure with us. Yay, we got the Barsom flower. Hmm. <clears throat> and the Barsom flower said be careful with our heads. What does, he, what does that mean? Protect our heads. And roots or damage will be caused when water comes. Wait, what's that sound? Watch out! No, oh, <laughs> the fucking flower is an asshole. <laughs> Swept away by the current. The flower gave us a one second warning. Also, watch your step. Why did so much water gush out? Pylon almost got drowned. So cold. So moist. Because the realm of Cobb is the Barsom Flower's dream. When the Barsom Flower waked up, the dream will disperse into the air. So the weight of the water can't be withstood, and the water will gush out. Woo, splash, cool and refreshing. Let's see if you could still say the same of if Paimon was washed away and never found. Aragaru knows where Nara and White Floaty are. Plants also can tell where you've gone. You'll be found. We have to bar some flower now. So next is to find the Zora mushroom and the Yajna grass before we can ask Aranaga to make a Arahoma. We have the Zora Mushroom. 
Yes, thanks to Naradan and White Floaty. If it were Aranaga, he'd definitely say, just like Nara Varuna, you are. That is to say, Nara Dan and White Floaty are amazing. Go find my friend Araranga. Aranaga. He is surely has something that he needs of your help. You can find him in Matiyama Forest. Alright, you got it. Next, I'm going to the Matiyama Forest too to prepare for Ahoma ritual. Let us meet there. The things I do for friends. All right. Final chapter. Oh, I haven't been here yet. Climb up a cliff to see another cliff. Waypoint out of the way. That's weird. I want to go this way because there's another teleport waypoint. There. I think this is that area that I came through on my first time in Sumeru. Oh, Golden Nora, that's right. 
Nara Dan and, Nar and White Floaty. Oh, this is another death. Hello. Hello, Aranga. Aranaga. Aranaga, I am. Been waiting for you, I have. Oh no, it's Yoda. We found Yoda Mushroom. We've also been looking for you for a long time, little bean. Aranaga, I am. Little bean, I am not. Soft, fluffy, white mushroom part floaty. Soft and fluffy, white mushroom. What's that? Are you talking about Paimon? Paimon silhouette does resemble a mushroom. No, it does this not. This is not the end. I'm Dan. And Paimon is Paimon. Hello. Um, Aramango. What can we do for you? Uh, it's Aranaga. My friends, Nara Dan, must have met. They are the ones who led you here, correct? Yes, we met your two little friends. They said that we could meet you here. Welcome to the Matiyama Forest. My garden. This is... It, my garden, this is. Mini Flora friends. Mushroom friends here. Here, they love. Because it's here. Matiyama protects us. Protects us from the forest. Protects the forest, Matiyama. So it can gather with friends. Help friends thrive on... Aranaga. But need help we can give help Naradan. So you wanna what do you want us to help with? Rejuvenate the soil for you? Yes, yes, correct, you are Naradan. Turning into dull color. Matiyima is very sad. But you guys can definitely help, she said. So I waited for you here. Who's she? Morty Moyomor Mama Mia? Uh, however you pronounce it, what is it? It's what Nara Varuna left behind. <sighs> Gathering the elements and nutrients to feed the forest Matiyima. During the first moon, made the fungi came to life. Matiyima, during the second moon, the branches woke up. On the ground, the moon cast shadows, the shadows of chattering leaves. During the third moon, startled lazy flowers from the sleep. Matiyima, they blossomed one by one. Lively and rambunctious, said the long-lived trees. But after many, 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 many more moons, Marana came out with the moon's shadows and devoured Matiyima. They came too. The walking shroomkin, not afraid of Marana, but very frightening. Paimon is getting more and more confused because White Floaty is silly. Hey, why are you all like this? Oh, you should have a cassava already. Don't eat it. It's for waking mushrooms in the vines. The cassava. When mushrooms and vines wake up, they will carry everyone higher that you can find the Yachina grass. Yammering grass? What's that? It's Yajin. Yajda. Des destined to turn into Arahoma. Very cute and pitiful. Over there is its home. I point it to you. I take you to see. Um, find it and then what do we do? Make it and other two friends into Arahoma. Then open the pass, puzz of vines that leads to um, Matiyima. Use Arahoma. You mean path. Yes, Nara call flat stripe with no grass a path. Nara don't like plants. Ara Nara like plants, but meaning same. Only this way will Marana recede. Matiyima said everyone is also urging me flowers and trees. So you came to us? Golden Nara, very much like Nara Varuna. Save the forest. Save us. Must be. Should be able to. I'm trying to save one person. And in the process, we're saving the entire ecosystem. To save the life of one person. Golden Nara, very much like Nara Varuna. Save the forest. Save us. Must be. Should be able to. For some reason... That last pause really annoys Paimon. 
Aranara trust you, so please trust Arang Aranaga as well. Let Aranaga bring you there. Well, he looks... By the looks of your eagerness, it seems so this is something very serious. Serious, yes. Ahead of the moon, not behind. What's this about behind the moon now? He meant time is running out. I'll take you to Yajnagras. Yajna grass born fall away because falling fulfillment not thing. Hmm. What do you mean fulfillment? Well, in Nara language, fulfillment and death the same. Fulfillment inspires life. It's happy death. What are you saying? Some really scary stuff. That bird is attacking that plant. You might not understand it now, but you'll understand in time, White Floaty. Here it is, the Yajna grass is protected by It's protected by the Vajna grass. Unseal it and we can talk to the Yajna grass. Died in the cutscene. Propagate!
all that effort to use a liar. Wow. That was an actual difficult one to play. It was a difficult puzzle for what was essentially a common chest. Get ready for the gliding champion of Mondstadt! I might need to level up this weapon again. Two more of these. I'll think I can craft two more of those. Oh, I know how to unlock these now. travel with Aranaga, you can use the Kusaba to call upon his power and lift certain platforms up. One down, two to go, I assume. The rule of threes seems to be pretty common and in full effect here. Seal is lifted here. Two down. One to go. <laughs> this was uh, the easiest mission so far.
All right, and that's three for three. Let's go talk to a flower. Great, now the seal should be gone. The Ajna grass is right here. Excuse me, please. Let me say a few words with the Ajna grass. Though it's the garden of Ar Aranaga, there is only one Yajna grass here. There were many once. Whenever the moons rose or fell, Yajna grass would grow. But it came. Marana. In the wake of Marana, walking shroon came and came. They ate and died many Yajna grass, leaving just this one. Then what are you guys going to do after you use the Yammering grass to make Arahoma? It's the Yajna grass, white mushroom, silly. But no need to worry. The important seeds are kept safe by Gem and Yokmars. The gate of Matiima and Jakyomars is guarding. Pardon, seas? Paimon sees. Oh, sorry. Pardon me. Doesn't Aranaga still need to catch up on the old times with the Yajna grass? Let's catch up with the glass. Willing to become Arahoma, he said. And thank you. Next, let's go to Yamaki Omar's together. Lead the way, little bean. Little bean, not Aranaga. Floaty is mean. Okay, okay, Paimon is not mean. Over here. Jamek Yomars is. Nar Varuna's memory cup grows here. So the name Yaki Yomars. Yaki Yomars is. God damn. Guarding my. Matiyama. So cannot enter. Those bad guys. But where the Maranas you spoke of is. Yes, anything unusual we haven't seen. Talking like this, since when did you start? <laughs> Matiyima has been infiltrated by Marana, so we must infuse Arahoma into Jamie Yomars. He will open the path for us. Once Jack Yomars remembers it all, then we will go and rescue. What is Arahoma? The essence of memory, messenger that drives away death. The elixir of Arahoma is. Carries our memories, carries our life, the elixir of Arahoma. To make Arahoma, three types of plants are required. Yajna grass, and its friends, Barsum flower and Zora mushroom. Under the moonlight, with the precious memories to refine them. So that potion can be complete. After Arahoma is offered, Chucky Yomars will awaken. Then our memory will flow out, flow into the forest. Matiyama will be saved. About the memory. Nara language I do not know how to use. Memory, dead, frozen. Many Nara believe. Memory will be lost. Many Nara believe. But it is alive, flowing not lost. It needs to be nourished. There are dreams, because there are memory. 
Memory is nourished, so there is life. So it can grow. The thing to repel, Marat. Oh, what's with the Nora word? I'm stuck. I don't know how to say it. You mean courage? Hope? Or is it wisdom? Yeah, right. You go to Naradan. That thing that flows cannot be seen, cannot be touched. Hope is like wind, but never dissipates like a dream. But first, we much must have Arahoma to awake the Yakimoma. Yaki. The Jemikimoma. Jemikimio. Jemikimio. That word looks uh, very intimidating to read. And make Arahoma. We need the Barsa flower and the Zora mushroom. They've already been gathered. Naradan, exactly. Same as Nara Varuna. And Golden, too. Thank you. Please come back when the moon rises over the tallest tree. The ritual to obtain the outer homo will begin then. How many of these emerald orbs do I have? Leave it to me! All of it! Whatever! Leave it all to me! Huh. Oh, my audio's gone. Oh, it's back! No one escapes my sight! Huh. Huh. Speed of light! Huh? Huh. Twenty-three and one. He's here. They're here. Yeah, yeah, here, here. Here you are, Nara Dan, white floaty. Welcome to the three of us. Welcome. The outer home and ritual is about to begin. What are you waiting for? Aren't you guys really anxious to hold that ritual? Still wait for a little bit. We can be grateful. We are. So as is customary for Nara, precious gifts we will give to you. Gifts? Precious gifts? Yes, indeed. Gifts. Precious gifts. Oh. Don't get too excited, Paimon. Our gifts are most precious. They have life compared to dead things. Living things are worth more... More are worth protecting. See? Aranaga said it. The most precious gifts. Helped us save the forest, Nara Dan. We are grateful. So we give you this. What is this? It's a living memory, a remembrance. Nara calls it. Creatures forget, that forget easily. Nara are, so must remember to use things that have life. Here is Aranaga's remembrance. It is a flower. Cannot blow him away. The ad oblivion. Cannot destroy him. The device that takes away dreams. Ad oblivion. Yes, the wind that flower that flows forever. Thousand winds that return to one. But on earth is the stream, and the ubiquitous is the wind. Everlasting, devastating. You lost, Paimon. White Floaty, silly. But silly only for now. White Floaty will know in future. And me, here's my flower. When you leave the forest and go back to the place full of sand, Please do not forget us like the, this flower. You won't forget. You can't forget us either. 
What's the matter? Are you upset? No, I'm very happy. We won't forget you all. Even when if we do. You will remind us, right? Yeah. I'll give you my flower, too. Please accept it. Wow, thank you. I wanted to give you meaty bugs, but... Aranga said that Nara don't like eating those, so I gave you flour, too. It's okay. Flowers are great. But I like bugs. <laughs> is here. The moon is here. The moment when the moon is high is up in the sky. Are you ready? I am ready. I want. I have other things to do. <laughs> so, Aranakin. Aragaru. Let's start the ritual. Come, come, dreams of the garden, memories of the forest. Come, come, wind that does not return, water that doesn't flow backwards. Come, come, sweet dreams of bitter aftertastes. Farewell, let us say, old leaves, swollen fruit, drifted dreams, fallen flowers. Wait, let us. Season of rain returns, plants rejoice. The pomegranate sings, the apples clap. The apples clap? Arahoma. Look, the potion is ready. Shh. Oh. Finished we are. Here it is. Arahoma. Please take good care of her. Next, we will go offer potion to Jemek Yomars. Please take good care of her. Save our dream garden together. Matiyama's dream. Yes. Aragaru wants to say the same. Place Nara Dan, please offer Arahoma over there. Look has accepted Jackyomar. Look has accepted you, Jackyomars. For a strong plant. Mushroom. What's going on? Dan, be careful. Are you okay? I'm okay. Okay, and next, um... Enter the Morty Arena, right? It's Matiima. How do you actually remember this name? Yes, yes, go in. Fight Marana. Together, let us. New life. Memory nourishes. Death is one time. Loss of memory. So our sacrifice, please witness. Please keep us in your memories and dreams. Eh? We will. Okay, don't keep Mati... Matiima waiting too long. Everyone's worried. Yeah, let's go defeat Marana together. Super bad in here, but Prime believes in Dan. Nothing to be afraid of. I must yeah. leave no stone unturned. <laughs> Why did you word it that way, Paimon? The essences of memories, the powers of Kusava. Only with these can we defeat Marana. Is this the source of Marana? I mean the withering? Yes, let's use Kusava right now. Kusava. 
Power Kusava Converge! You finally get to go on adventure with Aranga, Aranakin, and Arargo. Use the Kusava at the appropriate places to call upon their powers. Three Arana of three, three Arana by switching the abilities of the Kusava, you can choose Arnara to delve deeper. Super Kusawa. Okay, so I can switch. That was the tutorial. Now the real game begins. Fixed, Jeff. Yeah. Uh, this one's going to be a toughie. Are they still son of a whore. Very mean game. Very mean. Gotta love it when you have a character that is very, very tanky and indestructible, and then they get killed in one hit. Keep up with me. Uh. 
Leave it all to me. Things lobbing fucking fireballs at us. Someone needs assistance. the edge of the world right there. off the tiny mushroom.
we have to go down here. Don't. 
that. Don't blink. Hey. Cut to the chase. Scatter. I must leave no stone unturned. Finally, Someone needs to... the chaos has set in. Hooray! No more withering. Hopefully, ever again. Three little guys left. How about we go check out? Opening a chest is like unwrapping a gift. Thank you, Nara, Golden Nara, for all that you have done. Thank you. Free of burden of Marana, Mawitima is. She is very happy, Mawitima. Matiyama. Matiyama. We just happen to be passing by, so we lent a hand. That Morty Arena should be <laughs> thanking you guys. Is that so? Hmm. That's right. What's wrong? Nothing, nothing. It's just before we came here, the things we experienced together now seem like a fog. Like clouds. Can't see them, clearly. Need to remember. Is that because uh, you're too tired? Please rest more. That's right, let's go out together. Bask in the sun more. Our heads will be clear. Thanks, but still needs our company. Ma Mawitima. Matima. Hmm, because my team just woke up and we got a lot of stories to tell us. Auntie Yumi wants to share dreams with us, so we can't leave yet. Paimon sees, we just finished the important business, and Paimon has got the chance to get to know you better. It's okay, we will still be friends, as long as we remember you. As long as still remember you, we can. As long as we remember. Here is song so you don't forget me. Please remember this. Okay, we got it. Then if I forget you guys, I will remember when I hear this song. Eh? Because new life, memory nourishes, death is just loss of memory. So our sacrifice, please witness. Keep it in your memories and dreams. You have said this before. Why do you look sad now? Please don't be sad. We're still going to play together at Festival Utsama. Memories we describe to you, the story we experience, will definitely remain in dreams. Yeah, though Paimon can't help but feel a bit worried. It's okay. Mawitima is used to it. The forest and the earth are used to it. The soil and the roots are our, our memories hour. Yes, Marana and others forget, but we defeated it. Our memories are forever. But you guys haven't said if you will forget us. Still need us. Maotiima is so sorry. Can't keep her waiting long. Please give us some time. Maotiima still needs to talk with us. Remember to come play with us, Golden Nara and White Floaty. Yeah. 
there's like five. This is a five act story. Mana and Gamma, first chapter. First chapter. That's the last one. And that'll be... Last one. So, yeah. so far, so good. We can make this a long stream and try to finish this all in one go, but considering it took us about like two and a half hours to do this one thing, I kind of doubt it. And then we're going to have to dedicate a whole stream to this last little segment. training soma fruits we did a palm woods we did gave on a hill gone of a hill we did Varuna Gatha we did Agnota Sutra which means Vimana Agama is all that's left Why do we have to do all of these to finish this chapter? Alright. Home stretch, people. Eh, Nara. Don't be afraid. We're not bad, Nara. Paimon's Paimon. He's Dan. You're a Rarikin, right? We are friends of Aranara. That's right. Araja sent us here, saying that you would help us. Eh, there's been a strange Nara around. There's been strange gnar around. That is why I am a bit scared. We didn't mean to scare you. It's just that we didn't know you were so absorbed in. Hmm, since you can see Araikan and friends with the Raja, the forest must recognize you. You can't be bad Nara. You are good Nara. Araikan, not afraid. Did you say that you have questions for Araikan? Yeah, that's right. We would like to know more about the delicious fungus. The what? I'd like to know more about the specific is Nara and then Ah, 
Arana is good Aranara. Protecting Vana often, helping little Nara always are what Arana does. Arana can once help little Nara. Arana said that Marana's avatar is taking a little Nara away. So Arari can help. Recently the local Vana, I mean, I met the forest. The forest and stream are always crying. Maybe it's because Marana, Marana bad. Marana refers to the withering. And Vana, that's gotta mean forest. Well, that's some new R&R words learned. Wait, does the forest cry too? Maybe it's a figure of speech. It cries very loudly. Can, da can Nara Dan hear it too? Nara Dan, friend of forest. It's because of, it's because we're one with Dendro. Uh, sunshine brings happiness, but too much sunshine means less water. Water makes us grow. No water means withering. Songs bring happiness and power. Getting sick makes us upset, and being sick for too long means withering. It's the same for Vana and Aranara. But mint is different. Mint is so strong. Yeah, that's why it fucking grows everywhere. The forest has been crying harder lately. Arorican, Arorican is worried. Is it because Marana is harming the forest? Rorikan is not sure. It smells like Marana, but not really the same. But Arorikan knows that some bad, dirty stuff are making the forest sick in places Arorikan can't see. The forest keeps being sick all like this. A super giant Marana will come and suck all living things away. All flowers will wither and leaves will fall. The fruits will go bad, and the mushrooms will will stop growing. Eh? No more mushrooms? That means no more chicken mushroom skewers. We're here to look into the suspicious Nara. Arorikan knows that. Around this area of sickness, there is weird Nara. That might be the bad Nara that you want to find. Looks like we can help each other. What do you think, Dan? That's exactly what I'm thinking. Thank you, but Marana is scary. Nara will die. I've dealt with that before. I'll be alright. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to die. Nara Dan defeated Marana before? You very strong. And you are golden Nara, just like legendary Nara Varuna. You look reliable. I believe in you. Just leave it to us for now. But we've got another question. Tell me about the super bad, super dirty stuff. I have seen many weird Hilinara. Oh, they call the Hilichurls Hilinara. With filthy stains on them. They've been acting suspiciously around the giant Iron Mountain. Hilinara. Giant Iron Mountain? You mean the super big ruin guard over there? Speaking of which, something seems off with that ruin machine. It has no eye, it has no core. Hey, that's true. Other ruin machines will have a core that looks like an eye. Aronikon knows nothing about ruin machines. As for the giant Iron Mountain, it has been here since a long, long time ago. A long, long time? How long is that exactly? The time it takes for Tiny Seed to grow to giant tree that can touch the sky. That sure is a long, long time. Well, it shouldn't be hurting the forest if it has been here for that long. Bad people might come here because of it, though. You have a point. Bad guys like the Fatui, Treasure Hoarders, and the Abyss Order. Super bad guys. Bad Nara bad. Either way, let's investigate it, shall we? Who knows? We might even find some treasure. Thank you, Araikan. Sorry, thank you. Araikan also saw that there are other strange things besides the suspicious Nara. Alright then. Let's go, Dan. Don't fall behind now, Araikan. Araikan. The Hilinaras are different. Particularly different. Aren't all Hilichurls the same? No, just like the Nara, they are different. Although Nara do look pretty same. Yeah, all Nara look alike. Ha! 
Steady as stone. I'll catch up. There's nothing here, just a bunch of beat up machine bits. But the scraps, they've got bad smell on them. Well, in that case, let's check out the humongous ruin guard over there for. Someone needs assistance. Huh. Jeez, I knew this thing was big, but it looks even bigger when we get this yeah. close to it. Holy shit! Leave it all to me. Connection between this place and the, the dark stuff. Now you say that, Paimon can see, feel something strange coming as well. Oh, look, a ruined Drake. <laughs> Should.
Wow, what a huge cave. Careful now, it might be dangerous. Are we inside the Ruin Guard? Maybe. Um, I wasn't meant for this work. I didn't press the button in time. We should probably start buying more of these. if she catches us lazing around like this. Those mushrooms are the ascension materials for calling. The deeper we go, the lusher it is. Paimon doesn't think we'll see any withering. Hmm. Thinks it's odd. I heard that Nara hopes something. What? I don't know. I'll race you there. We're at the edge of the planet. Here. Is that someone up there? That is suspicious. Nara, quick, must protect Avagar again. I think he's a Sumeru scholar. How did you get up here? Nara, Dan, that's the suspicious Nara. He's been sneaking around here with that suspicious machine. Him, you're right. Coming to a place like this is pretty suspicious, all right. Mm, I'd say you're the suspicious ones here. After all, I'm a certified researcher from the academia. From the academia. You and... 
and you Outlanders are the of unknown origin. We've been commissioned to investigate this place. I am Dan, on the trail of a suspicious Nara. <laughs> huh? What are you talking about? We've been commissioned to investigate the situation here. Oh, a commission. So you're adventurers. Or perhaps you're Aramites or something. Well, it doesn't matter. My name is Jazari. A Kashawar, a Kashawar researcher. As you can see, I don't care what you came here for. But don't get in the way of my research. What's there to be researched in this deep cave? Paimon, can't you tell we're inside the rune guard? There are always things to be researched everywhere. As the saying goes, ignorance is a researcher's disgrace. Ignorance is a researcher's disgrace. I don't think that's how the saying goes. You must have noticed the huge rune machine out there, right? This is act. That is actually a ruin golem. Made in the ancient realm of Conria. In the local lexicon of Conria, the name we might possibly have been used something is a mechanical warden. See, we're right behind the ruin golem. The machine's operator would have been the one who entered from here. But a machine of this size would have required more than one operator, right? That's among my research topics. Unfortunately, I have made I haven't made much progress so far. Exploring the ruin golem from the inside seems to be the only solution, and I am presently looking for a way in. So you're more suspicious by the minute. If you don't believe me, do you? See this? This is an investigation charter from the Academia, with the highest possible level of clearance. That's nothing to be given away on the streets, certainly not to one concerning investigations into ancient ruins, as important as this. The Academia would never issue something like this casually. I can't give you the original copy, but wait a second, where did I put my camera? I remember placing it inside my bag. Be careful, he's taking out suspicious machines again. The Zari sets up a device, and it is indeed a camera. Eh? The suspicion machine you mentioned? It's just a camera. A camera? That's right, it's a machine that takes pictures. It's pretty convenient. Yes, this is a priceless item as far as the academia is concerned. I can't just let you touch it. Wait, who are you talking to just now? Um, about that. She's been alone since she was little. <laughs> An imaginary friend. Don't worry, I understand your condition. It's okay. We're friendly people here in Sumeru. You'll have no trouble making real friends. I guarantee it. <laughs> my one's getting mad. <laughs> Still, do not get in the way of my research. After all, nothing under the sun is truly new. And if it is our duty as researchers to collect information and investigate it, all charters are recorded in the academia. If you're still skeptical, just keep an image of this for validation in the house of Dana. Diana. Anyway, we got something to discuss. Dan, let's talk over there. As you wish. Paimon needs friends. Ararikan could be your friend. Me too. Um, thanks you two, but that's not the problem. The issue is he can't see you, Ararikan. Hmm. When Nara grow up, they can't really see Aranara anymore. Young Nara see us because they are innocent, but grown Nara can't. Nara Dan is a dreamer, favored by the trees and flowers, so you can still see us even as a grown up. How old is Aether? Is he like, he's less than 20, but older than like 500. Anyway, we should be more careful when talking to Aranara in front of others. Well, Paimon doesn't think that Jazari was lying. Anyway, you might have misunderstood him, Arorikan. Arorikan saw that Nara thing 
Nara taking out his camera doing a kachik to the hill Nara. Very suspicious. If that Nara isn't bad, he runs... If that Nara isn't bad, he runs away every time the hill... The hilly Nara comes, so he can't really be friends with the hilly Nara. He must be quite the runner, then. Mm -hmm. The Nara holds his machine and then runs so fast. So he shouldn't be a bad person, nor should he be related to the children of Imara Village. I'm not particularly interested in all, at all in this, but we'll finish what we started. I'm actually I'm curious about the giant machine, actually. Yep, Paimon totally agrees. Anyway, since he's doing research around here, he should be pretty familiar with the situation. Maybe he... He can help you, Aurorikan. So we're gonna have to go back and forth because this guy can't see him. That's funny. Heh, finally believe me, do you? Yeah, I guess you're not suspicious after all, Jazari. We have some questions about the situation. Ask away. As a Kasuwa researcher who specializes in study ruining machines, I have been investigating this big guy over here for years. No one on this earth knows more about this ruined golem than I do. What about beneath the earth, then? Well... Legends hold that the ancient realm of Conria lies beneath the earth. Since they built all the ruin machines, it would be arrogant of me to say that I understand these devices better than they do. Tell me about the bad, dirty stuff. Ah, so you're looking for bad and dirty things, are you? Then you should visit the city. The city? Are bad things in the city? Um... This is something that they'll say. Anyway, this locale is somewhat polluted, which might be related to the bad and dirty stuff you mentioned. Well, you see, yeah, probably like oil, grease, etc. Well, here's the situation. We've heard that the forest here has... You paraphrase Erison's words so that Jazari can understand them. Is that so? Let me think about this. I might indeed have some clues. According to my research, all ruin me mechanisms work on the same principle no matter what they do, whether it be flying or launching missiles. And, well, a ruin golem is theoretically the same as a ruin guard. Except that it has to be operated by people. Have you noticed anything abnormal about this ruin golem? It looks inc incredibly big. The eye seems to be missing. Yeah, this big guy here's got no peeper. Exactly. According to the documents, ruin machines are powered by their cores. To be precise, by the dark power inside what you call an eye. When Conrail was destroyed, Many ruin machines like this one burst out from the desert. Although th things are different now, even the academia was unable to handle the cores back then. A single mistake could cause a core meltdown, leading to serious accidents. As a result, the academia had no choice but to temporarily seal the cores and deal with them later. If the documents have it right, the core of this ruined golem should be sealed inside the ancient ruins known as Dev's Cavern which is right beneath our feet. Is there anything wrong with the core? There shouldn't be, but we have detected some energy leakage. The seal seems to have been damaged at some point, though we have no idea when. The last time someone published research report regarding such matters was more than 10 years ago. Any progress on this matter should warrant a large amount of funding from the academia. Funding, are you saying that you get more for doing research? That's right, speaking of which, we did talk about the pollution a moment ago. For ecological topics, we might be able to file the subject as an application with biology. Amurta. That was, uh, Tanari's department. That would really be an Archon send for those who study fringe subjects like us. First, I planned on taking the route recorded in previous reports to look inside. Unexpectedly, all the entrances were blocked. Aurorican knows. It's the place outside where Aurorican sensed bad things. I thought it might have been a forest watcher or the Vimara villagers who did it, but 
Given what you described, someone must have sneaked inside and blocked the entrances. Maybe it was the Marana's avatar you mentioned. Well, I wouldn't dare mess with something like that. Hillitrills are more than enough trouble for me. As you can see, I wouldn't be stuck here right now. First things first, though. If you want to travel underground, I do have an idea how. Interested? This Nara... This Nara... Awesome! How do we travel beneath? I guess you're pretty good at it after all, so how do we get down there? We just need to find a, enter, a way to enter this ruined golem and smash the blocked entrance open with it. Is that even possible? Are you serious? Well, it sounds like a good idea to me. It should be alright, and the data acquired from this would be priceless, even if something does go wrong. The benefits still outweigh the risks. Everything in the pursuit of knowledge. So if we can investigate the core buried underground, I could submit a funding application on your behalf. What do you think? That's killing two birds with one stone. Well, three birds, actually. If we can get some funding, let's help Jazari out, Dan. Academic research is important, too, after all. Of course, but you'd best report the to the academia when you have time, or this might be classified as a malign, as malign research. Anyway, let's try to get inside first. The operator might still be there. That would make for some great data. I mean, good research subject. It has been hundreds of years, you know. Never mind that. There might be treasure inside. Right? Oh, Paimon. <laughs> I'm quite sure that some antiques are stored within. Research on those would... What do you think, Dan? Since Mr. Zari has put it like that, Paimon reckons you should do some academic research. Great, so how do we get in? Aha, I almost forgot the most important thing. Opening the door to the ruined golem's cockpit requires the Amiti device. To put simply, a key. The bad news is that I don't have this key. The good news is that I have discovered its whereabouts from studying documents on hand. If you must know, I have scoured half the house of Diana for records available. The last report on the Amidi device was published decades ago. And though I have figured it all out, my findings cannot be published. As things stands, most irritating indeed. Why can't you publish the results? It's because those big shots don't see the academic value in this. But it isn't academic value, just pompous human evaluation, where they reduce knowledge down to mere practical tools. Knowledge itself can't be, cannot be determined to be more or less valuable. So uh, where exactly is this key? You haven't mentioned it yet. Ah, to put it simply, the key may be found in Port Ormos, to the south, in the hands of an antique dealer named Royanjan. Would you please accompany me there? You've been staying here doing research for so long, and you've never thought about visiting him? Um, the thing is, I'm not good at dealing with merchants. They don't understand me, which makes communication almost impossible. I've been cheated out of a lot of mora on account of this. That's true. I do find it hard to follow your thoughts at times, too. Wait, so this is actually all my fault? Ugh. Well, whatever the case, we're gonna go to Port Omos, right? Let's go check it out, then. And thus, another quest line requires me to go to Port Omos. <laughs> Uh, where's the main Archon quest in Port Armo so I don't accidentally fucking start that? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. So that's there. So that's there. And this... <sighs> ...is also there. 
That's annoying. To point almost we go. I'll race you there. This is Act 5. Act 5 of a side quest. A side quest with five acts. Double check. Who do we talk to for the other quest? Go to Port Omos. I think it's going to start no matter what. Goodness, we didn't walk into a different quest line. Welcome, you must be travelers from abroad. What brings you here to my shop? Would you like to make any purchases or seek to appraise any items? See, so you're Royanjan, the antique dealer, right? Royanjan, the chief antique appraiser, to be precise. Did you come specifically to visit me? Well, I shan't let you down then. We're looking for a certain antique. Oh, then you've come to the right place. If you can name it, Roy and John here can tell you about it. I've probably seen enough antiques lay out across the entire marketplace. Even the academia might have seen quite have not have seen might not have seen quite as many. We're looking for the uh, um the thingy's name again. Paimon can't remember. We're looking for the Amiti device. I uh, never heard of something like that. You just said we could name anything. Don't worry. I haven't heard of that name, but you might know of the thing you want. Antiques tend to have a variety of monikers, you see. Can you describe the thing you're looking for? Uh, how should I put it? The documents didn't particularly include a detailed description. It's an item in the style of those ruined machines, and it could be it should be an identification device of sorts. It should be marked with unique Conria style patterns. That can be recognized to be chronologically different from common types seen on Ruin Guards, thus marking this as somewhat of an earlier version of the device. And considering what we know about Ruin archaeology... Oh, alright, you can stop now. I know what you're looking for. Ah, so you know. That's so very helpful, thank you. In that case, please give it to me. Ah, that's not how this works. The item is very precious. If you want it... You'll have to pay for it, and that's 500,000 Mora at least. <sighs> Why do I have, like, this much money? It's an antique, you know. What I'm offering here is pretty uncom- is a pretty common price. <sighs> but what if the Mora we spend here can't guarantee a successful report? Let's help him out, shall we, Dan? We helped out others in a bargain before, haven't we? You could probably dab a hand in by now. 
I'm good at dealing with merchants. Maybe this is a relief. I'm terrible at things like this. That's everything on me. Just take it. I'll have to find a gig with the Aramite over there if it's not enough, though. All right. Let's do... Oh. We can't go that low. Uh... 400,000. Did you come all the way here to make fun of me? Oof. Well, you have a deal. I mean, more does come after friendship for us dealers. So, I'll do you three friendly a favor today. I'll sell you the antique at the price you've named. <laughs> My funding. Hey, we didn't spend all of it. We got we got them down a little bit. Well, here's the remaining funding. Wait, what is this? Isn't this just a normal chaos core? Nonsense, that's no ordinary chaos core. But the core of a ruin guard prototype found in Storm Terror's lair. See the marks left by the great wolf king of the north? This is a unique treasure, all right, and no mistake. Then isn't this the one that we saw at Storm Terror's lair? Didn't Dane take it? This one's gotta be a fake. Antiques are sold for their stories. Maybe he was deceived too. Well, I don't know about this Dane fellow, but I sure have heard of Storm Terror's lair. Anyway, if you've got different insights about, anti about antiques, we could discuss them in private. Whatever this is, it's definitely not the Amiti device. What I'm looking for is a key that can open up a ruin golem on the the ruin golem on the Devonkata mountain. According to my research, it should be it should be in the hands of your grandfather, Mr. Hassan, the golden adventurer. That music's getting kind of loud. Well, at least it was at least that was the case several decades ago. Zari describes the story of Mr. Hassan, the golden adventurer. Oh, come on, you should have just said this earlier. You didn't exactly let me. Ah, but that really brings back memories. It's been so long since I've heard stories about my grandfather. When I was little, Grandpa would tell me stories of his adventures, and then he, that he was just bragging. But what do you know? He actually was that awesome. But what do you know? He actually was that awesome. Speaking of which, it is mostly because of him that I became an appraiser of antiques. All the stories about treasures were just so intriguing. Still, the thing you spoke of is not here with me. You haven't sold it off, have you? I wish I did, but treasures don't stay where they don't belong. As they say, I mean, it isn't... Isn't that what happens with all treasure hunting legends? Well, Grandpa didn't care about any of that stuff, but according to him, that device engraved with the ancient characters was lost during one of his adventures in some underground cave. That was a long story, one which he told me many times, but I can't remember a single word of it now. Actually, I even planned a treasure hunt for it with some of the others back then, and as to whether we really found it again, well... We well, if we did, it should be a hidden secret base in, Viar in Vimara Village. A secret base at Vimara Village? I always went there to play when I was just a kid. You know how kids love their secret bases. Could you please show us the secret base? Perhaps we could find some clues there. So this thing that's important... 
So this thing is that important to you, huh? Still haven't been back there in over ten years. It's an important matter pertaining to scientific research. It's an important matter, me. All right, since you brought, since you bought something from me, I'll take you there. We spent like fucking so much money on a fake antique. I'll take you there, but try to manage your expectations, okay? I really can't remember what happened that long ago. We're counting on you either way. Hooray, to a secret base we go! Okay, let's teleport out of here before we get sucked into a cutscene. Because that is literally the objective that we're supposed to be going for the main Archon quest, which... I would like to do, but I want to finish this quest line first. Hey, Alfonso. Your girlfriend's missing. We're trying to save her life. I'll talk to you later. should be in a cave somewhere near here. Is my memory going or something? Why don't we ask the villagers of Umara Village? They should know if there's a cave around here. The villagers, eh? No point in asking them. This is a secret base. How would they even know where it is? If I remember correctly, the cave entrance should be behind these vines. So let's split up and search for it. This great researcher and I will go look over there. You two search this place, alright? Alrighty, let's start our search from the vines here. There really are so many of them, though. These are not vines. That's, uh, Vamata. Eh? So you know something about this, Arorikan? Yeah, these are Vamata. Aranara made them. Why would Aranara make this? Aranara make Vamata when they don't want Nara to enter a place. The Vamata are present, only Aranara can enter. Huh, R and R are pretty small, but this place has been blocked completely. Paimon thinks even you can't get through. Nara can't get in, but R and Nara can sing. Amada spin. They hear us singing, and when they do, we can enter. Like a ball? Yep, Nara Dan is friend of forest. If you sing Nara Dan, the Amada will hear it. Come. Arorikan will teach you. New song get Oh, I could fucking take get rid of that stupid fruit. I don't need the fruit anymore. Oh, no kidding, it really started spinning like a ball. And there's our mysterious cave entrance. The Arorikan remembers this cave. Eh, did you make this Vamata Arorikan? Arorikan doesn't remember, but little Nara must be protected. This much Arorikan knows. Well, we've no clue why this place was sealed by the Aranara. But it should be the entrance to the secret base. Let's call those two over. I knew this was the place. Our secret base should be this way. How did you guys find it? Rarikan did a great job. Either way, since you found the entrance to the cave, let's go in. We just have to find the Amiti device next. It's pretty big inside. Don't be scared now. It's dangerous. It was sealed off, though. Needs 
assistance. Jeez. How are the old men navigating this place? Wow, this place is really huge. You were a pretty impressive kid, huh, Roy and John? Not bad, eh? But it's much smaller than I remember. That's because you've grown up. This is because Paimon is small. More than grown up, I'm an old man now. But this place really hasn't changed at all. It's like a time stood still here. Even the air smells the same. A single whiff brings me back to my brings back so many memories. Let's not waste time. Do you remember where the Amiti device is? Patience, youngster. Let's take a look around first. One thing has been bugging Paimon since we first walked in. What is that huge machine part? Oh, Aroika knows this was moved here from the giant Iron Mountain. Giant Iron Mountain, you mean that it was taken from the Ruin Golem from before? You noticed it too. Judging from the pattern, such parts should belong to the Ruin Golem. Though I don't know why it was arranged in this fashion. Perhaps you really do have academic talent. Would you like me to recommend you to the study in the academia once our project has come to a close? You're sure to make good friends there. <laughs> That's not what this is about. Paimon just likes talking to Paimon self. But thanks anyway. A tr but a child shouldn't have been able to move anything this big. So who piled it up here this way? Maybe it was a forest spirit. Nah, just kidding. I can't remember. Rarikan knows. Rarikan moved it. How did you move something this big? Rarikan can move it. Rarikan is very strong. I remember two groups of us kids running around the big guy and play fighting. So who won in the end? Me, of course. I've never lost. Our group's stronghold should be up ahead. Well, I remember now. I think I buried something over there. I'll take you. Oh, this definitely looks like a children's base. Come on, come on. Paimon wants to see what we've got. Hey, it's just a booklet. Ooh, this is good stuff. This was our adventure handbook back in the day. Adventure handbook? Don't you guys know about adventure handbooks? I thought you were adventurers from the broad, based on how you look and the fact that you're here looking for treasure or something. Yes, I did, in fact, get an adventure handbook. Right, many adventurers write them. It's like an adventure journal to record their experiences, plans, even clues to treasure locations. And as you guys know, my grandfather was a great adventurer, though I didn't understand a lick of what he wrote into his adventure journal. Still, I grew up wanting to be an adventurer, so I made my own imitation adventure handbook. You could say it's where I got my start. I know how important this is to you, but it won't help us find the thing we're looking for. Now, now, not so fast. Did I tell you that I planned to find the Amiti device? What happened then is I recorded it in this adventure handbook. You see, I remember that the two of us... Wait a moment. Why are there three people in the drawing? Has my memory already gone that bad? Or is it because my eyes can't see well anymore? Do you need me to lend you my glasses? I have the latest model produced by the Academia. It's a researcher. Are you really that? Forget it. Let me take a closer look. I'm pretty sure now that the Amiti device should have been buried right here by yours truly. Great, so we'll just have to search this cave, is what I would say. This place wasn't quite so big. There's no need for that. The location of the device is recorded here. It should be...
This is indeed the Amiti device. See, I didn't lie to you guys. Now we can scuttle right back and open that giant robot up, right? Paimon's getting excited already. Alas, this is just a fragment. There's no way we will open the room go without a complete device. I can fix it if it's not been completely destroyed, but we'll have to find some way to recover the remaining pieces. And as for these remaining fragments... Now, oh, don't be so anxious. The device was split into three parts. But why would Grandpa put them in different locations? You know what? This would be a very exciting story, if only I remembered more of it. Three different places. So the locations of the fragments are recorded here? Yes, that's right. The locations of the buried device fragments are all recorded in this handbook. We must have found the fragment buried here from back then, wherever it was first. In that case, let's go find the remaining two fragments. Using this. We're the best at finding things, aren't we, Dan? We're pretty good at finding things, but as for people... Hmm. Yeah, Paimon knows what you mean. It's alright, though. We'll surely find her. That's what I'd say anyway, but... But... I can't understand these writings. Huh? How can that be? Did you write these notes yourself? Well, this is actually a record of adventure that the two, well, maybe three of us, undertook. I can't remember who the third person was, but I certainly haven't forgotten that old man... If you want to know the location of the remaining device fragments, you should go look for him. That old man should still be kicking even now, and if he is, he, is defi he definitely still lives in Vimara Village. He did say he would live out the rest of his days there, after all. The old man you're talking about is... I know who it is! It's Amadea, maybe? Oh, you know that old fellow. Well, that makes things easier. Take this handbook and show it to him. He should understand. Eh? Aren't you going to come with us? We're still trying to save Rana. Hmm. I don't want to meet that old fossil. Have you figured out where the fragments are buried? Go look for him yourself. I would like to go with you, but my old bones aren't up to the task anymore. I wanted to be a great adventurer like my grandfather back when I was a young boy. And if it hadn't been for that guy, well... Stories are, in the end, more important than the adventure itself, so if you collect any stories, please remember to bring them to me. I can give you guys this device fra fragment as a reward. How about that? It's a good deal, right? You have a deal. Well, it looks like we won't be of much help in this endeavor, so I might as well wait here for you. There are a lot of parts for me to here to study, and I'm not going to pass up the chance to do it. I'm counting on you two to bring the fragments back quickly as you can. Things will get dicey for me if I miss the deadline. You know, Paimon's used to this already, but it's become a problem that the only the two of us can solve. Two. Paimon is too <laughs> sure the r, r don't count. Paimon isn't sure what's going on here, though. Oh, that's a cute ladder. Oh, he's gonna wait here. Wait, what am I doing? I can just... teleport. This is gonna be a seven-hour stream at this rate. Why is Amadea on this side of the fucking bog for now? Ah, uh, we meet again, friends of Rana. Is she not with you? I wonder what's taking her so long to patrol the woods this time. Still, must be a special occasion for you to come see me. Ugh, don't remind me that she's still fucking dying. It's been like a month, it feels like, and we still haven't saved her yet. <laughs> well, yeah, it's for... You tell Amadea about Rohingya, the secret base in the handbook. I see you went to the secret base. What do you think? Pretty impressive, isn't it? Rohingya is here in... 
in Viara and still doesn't want to see me. That fellow gets more stubborn the older he gets. That's how he is, though. It's almost been ten years since I last saw him. And that was when I had some business in Port Ormos. I'm relieved to hear he's still himself. That's an odd relationship they have between you. So why doesn't Royanyan want to see you? It's a long story. If you wouldn't mind hearing an old man prattle on, would you? I'm quite curious, actually. Yeah, Paimon wants to know, too. Back when we were kids, Royanyan lived in Vimara for a while because of his grandfather. As a kid from bustling Port Ormos with a legendary adventurer for his grandfather, Royanyan quickly drew the attention of the other kids. I was one of those kids who was fascinated by the stories he heard from his grandfather. Together we built a secret base in a cave and dressed ourselves up as warriors and heroes with branches and flowers. To us children, the base was another world where we went through countless imaginary adventures. Those old times seem like a dream now. Roy and Jan also mentioned that base once played host to a load of kids. So what happened? All kids grow up eventually. Yeah, kids do have to short, short attention spans in any case. Be it legends or adventures, these are just some of the many passing interests. By the time we realized that truth, Roy and Jan and I were the only two left in the base. No, make that three, actually. Royan also mentioned that there were three of you, but he can't recall the third person anymore. I'm not sure either. It's been so long. And we're both old now. Who could it have been? An Aranara, perhaps. These Aranara again. Now that sounds like a make boot like make believe worthy of children. If I had left Vimara with him. It'd probably still believe in all that. With him, you say. So why did Royanhan leave, then? For his adventures, of course. That guy's been stubborn ever since we were kids. We vowed to become the greatest adventurers in the world, just like the legendary grandfather. But neither of us had the knack for being one. After my initial enthusiasm had worn off, I found that I had far more important things to do. So in the end, he was the last one left. That's why we're like this now. The way he sees it. I was more of an adventurer, yet I gave up before he did. Stubbornness. That's all that is. Still, it was also thanks to Roy and Jan's stubbornness that he wound up being the best antique dealer in Port Ormos. Well, that's it for the story. You want to know where the find the two fragments, right? It's going to take a while to mark them out for you, though my eyesight's gotten quite deplorable in my old age. I'll count this as a commission from him. I use traditional Vimara cursive for this, which he should be able to comprehend. He deliberately would have back then, anyway. It's done. Just follow the instructions and you'll be alright. To be honest, I never thought that this thing would still have uses after all these years. Ah yes, I just found this in the journal too. Picks a dried flower out of the yellowed sheets. Give this to Royanyon. When you see him again, maybe it will jog his memory a bit. Why didn't you say anything back there? Arari can... Amadea is a good Nara. You have nothing to fear. Arariken wasn't afraid. Arariken has heard the things you talked about earlier, and they're very familiar. Just can't remember them. Arariken was confused, so Arariken didn't say anything. That's quite a strange problem, because you're the third person, that's why. Yes, yeah, very strange. This is tiring, but at least we're making progress anyway. Let's do, uh... Amadea said, and go find the two fragments. Then give them to Jazari.
You've located the fragments of the help of Amadi and Rangan. One of them should lies in a submerged cavern. That's far from here. A lot of work for a common chest. Another target tracked down by Outrider Amber. Alright, so there's a submerged cave somewhere over here. today. Yeah. 
you there. This is where we saw that other R and R a while back. This looks like a submerged cave if I've ever saw one. Why does Mr. Rogers' grandpa like this to go to the cave anyway? According to the notes, it's, the, it's at its deepest part again. Why do they have teleporters in caves? Bet you can't keep up with me. Is this an answer from this world? Casually drop an ult. Nope. Uh huh. Ooh, 
wall chicken. Don't stop on my account. Completely forgot that those things react with dendro and fire. progress at a snail's pace. A chest is like a unwrapping a gift. That 
that's the key. But why am I unsealing this fucking nasty thing? That's it right there. Looks like there are big robot parts here, too. Gee, imagine what would happen if Jazari saw them, eh? Whip out his camera again, and then that would be the last we hear of him for a while. Raikon claims to have moved the components back there. But that can't be true, right? Of course it's true. Arikan doesn't deceive Nara. If I am not mistaken, Arikan was a was the Arnara who played with the kids in secret in the secret base. But Arikan remembers nothing about this. Do Arnara forget the past too? The forest remembers everything. Arikan doesn't know what you're talking about, and Arikan can't remember. But it's fun hanging out with the little Nara. Paimon hopes you remain happy wherever you may go, Araikan. Seems this is the thing that can be behind with the other dug up the secret the base. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That was that chapter. Now we're at the this chapter. That is a much easier to get to location. our way in. A 
Look at the plants here. What's inside the cave? Would have to be the withering. Hooray! It's Marana. Please protect Aradikan Naradan. We will protect you. No need to be afraid of Marana. If Amadea is right, Dan, then the fragment of the Amidi device should be inside. Let's neutralize the withering first. was surprisingly easy. Another target tracked down by Outrider Amber. All right, this is the fragment. All we have to do is bring these pieces to Zari. We can finish the MET device. Then we can get inside the big robot. Oh, we need to tell Rouge's story of adventures. We should tell him about the R and R too. This has been a long and fruitful endeavor. you, but if I was a kid, I would never hang out in a place like this where I could fall to my death very easily. Hell, there's fucking monsters in here. Hey, Ryan Jordan, we're back. Looks like you met with the old man and found the fragments you were looking for, hmm? That aside... That aside, he is a tedi- He is as tedious now as he was then. Not that I care, though. Seems you do. What did Amadaya tell you? Don't believe anything he said. If he hadn't slipped back into the village the night before the adventure at sea... 
we could have been the greatest adventurers in history. Can't change the past. Come on, I'm just kidding. I'm better suited to dealing in antiques. Even a great adventurer like my grandfather eventually went missing in their adventures. I doubt I would have stood much of a chance. For me, I'm satisfied as long as there's a story to hear. So what stories have you collected? According to your ideal, the device fragments in your hands were meant to be exchanged for stories. About the inundated device and the withering. Ah, that's a great adventure indeed. You are a marvelous adventurer. If only I had been able to complete such a journey myself. That's good enough story for me. The fragments are yours, as we agreed. Take them to our re researcher. He's been stressing out over this entire time while you were having your fun. You should get back to my shop now. It'll be quite upset if I missed out on a big sale. Wait a second, we have something else we have to, to do. That flower. How idea I wanted you to have this? A flower? Seriously? At his age? Hold on, I think I remember this. Have you recalled anything? <laughs> maybe, but then again, maybe not. Anyway, the past should stay the past, so forget it. But I have a feeling this flower does not belong to me, so please return it to where it belongs. I can tell that you can see things that I can't. He seems to have a bit more fun than... He seems to have become a bit more fun than before. Do drop by my shop when you get the chance. Until then, farewell. Where it belongs? The flower is yours, Rarikan? This flower is precious. Why give it to a Rarikan? Because it belongs to you. Rarikan doesn't remember the flower, but a Rarikan likes it. A Rarikan cherishes this flower. A Rarikan shall plant it in the garden. It's a dried flower. It's dead, right? We'll see you at the foot of the Great Iron Mountain. Once we get the giant machine started, we'll get the bad guys together. Yes, Arorikon wants to fight the bad guys with you. That's a promise, Arorikon. Thank goodness you're back. Here are the two remaining fragments. Ah, yes. That's them, all right. Thank you so much for your help. I'll take care of the rest. He fixes the Amiti device. Well, this should do the trick. <laughs> Pretty good, eh? Why, I bet I even... Even a herb out of academia couldn't fix this thing without consulting any information. You're lucky to have me with you, you know. Now we can get inside the Aruin Golem. I think that's our line. And no one's been in this machine for centuries. I can already smell the parchment of pages and academic annals that shall bear my name. Oh, I'm sorry. I got too excited. No problem. Paimon's getting excited, too. Mora or treasure, here we come. <laughs> All right, now we're in Jazari's chapter. I'm assuming we have to go to the giant fuck-off golem. I didn't realize until now that the giant golem is actually on the map. Open the cabin door. Amazing. It's so much bigger than Paimon Font. Of course it is. Wait, this is the moment for that famous phrase, is it not? Behold, thousands of years of ancient Conria's history lies before us. Oops, got carried away there. Welcome to the world of yesteryear! Hmm. It's a famous quote from Is 
by Iskandar. The Vahumana Sage. Ideology. Wait, haven't you read his biography? Aren't you a Kashawar researcher? Well, knowledge is boundless. I do intend to have my learning. Sh I do not intend to have my learning shackled. I've read about it in countless time rooms in books, but the first time I've seen it in person, and why I can't contain my excitement. Look at all these vines. It must have been a really long time since anyone last came in here. According to the text named the Review of Research on Issue Related to the Ruined Golem in Ancient Conria, the last scholar who managed to get inside the Ruined Golem for systematic research was Pierre Cavaticus. Cavaticus. I'm sure you don't know, but this is Pierre Kavigavis Kav was one of the greatest scholars in Keshawar's history. Kavigavis earned the rank of Herbad before hitting 30, a genuine academic genius. Oh no, the little uh, guy's not with us anymore. With his achievements, he would have become a sage sooner or later. But he met with an accident during an expedition, and his research results were lost. Ever since, Kishowar has gone downhill. If he had lived longer, perhaps I wouldn't be worrying about his expenses day and night like this. By the way, it's my academic ambition to follow Pirkovic of his footsteps. Well, forget your academic ambition for now. Our next step is to... Smash open the entrance. Uh-huh. We need to activate this big bot guy first. All right, activating the Ruin Golem. I can get value experimental data, which will serve as the basis for a breakthrough in my research. One has to make waves to outdo one's predecessors, after all. Let's get this thing working, then. There's gotta be some mechanism in here, you know? The kind of thing that lights up when pressed. I do recall there being one. According to our records, one separation valve the steering cabin is turned on. The rune golem will be activated. Just as I told you before, the rune machines are driven by dark power of their cores. The cores of the rune golem have been sealed underground. Even if we got into the steering cabin, the conventional method will not work. In fact, we can't even start the lift right now. Before us. So how will we get to the steering cabin at the top? So what do you do now? You're implying there's an unconventional route. As the saying goes, when one door closes, another opens. And in any case, I'm positive that people of Conria surely took this scenario into consideration. The Academia's research shows that the early ruin machines also had backup power system, perhaps because techniques that allowed them to utilize dark power were still in their infancy. Power system. Unlike the cores that supply almost unlimited energy. This power system comprises a series of small power relays. The power system sources of these devices are energy blocks that store pure energy extracted from the ley lines. According to Vahumana researches, researchers, which is etiology or ideology, this power system is most likely had been widespread use long before the first ruin machine was ever built in ancient Conria. It's As I stated earlier, the ruin golem is an early model, so it must have one of those backup power systems. The core power cabin is at the bottom. Let's get down there first. Check something real quick. Oh, we have all the songs. Not entirely sure why these energy cubes are left all over the place in here. 
Theoretically, something, something, something. Starting up. What do you think? Machinery of the Ruin Golem, whether it's a relay or a trap door, it can be powered by an energy block. Nothing seems to have changed at all. Well, because backup system provides a series of small power relays. In other words, we have to work our way from the bottom, and the system can only function when the relays have been connected. Given the damage of the Ruin Golem, it would be quite difficult to run on full power. But as you were activating the relay, I found this power room. In the power room. It seems to be the blueprint for the rune golem. Perhaps the maintenance crew left it here. According to this blueprint, we only need to connect several key relays to start this machine. At the very least, we'll be able to start the lift and go up to the steering cabin. That sounds questionable. Well, there's nothing we can do. So we might as well try activating the lift first, yes? Wait. Aren't you coming with us? I'll stay here and take pick. Uh, no, study the internal structure of the Ruin Golem. It's also important work. Besides, I'm a scholar. There's little I could do to assist you directly in your task. But if you have any technical problems, I'll be here for you. According to Zari, these energy blocks seem to have auxiliary power corresponding components. Energy blocks, yeah. That was easy. <laughs> Back so soon. Well, I'm still studying the load bearing structure of these components here, but it's impressive that you got the lift started. You were just guessing about the activation thing, weren't you? Well, come on, I've only read about it in books. Just so you know, there's no more than three people in the entire academia who can read this blueprint. So, uh, so guessing it right does mean something. Anyway, now that the lift is working, we should be able to access the steering room above by activating the relays on the middle level. I see. The middle, The mid-level gear should be in the power room. We need to activate four relay units. If we can't find energy block that works, it's also possible to temporarily remove them from the device. It's fine as long as they're all connected in the end. I'll keep waiting for you here then. Middle level. Look at her heels. She's snapping her feet.
spooked me. where there's only one, because that might be able to open and do something. Hildrick Schwarritter Beardfather passed away due to multiple organ failure. May he rest in peace in the foreign land. There's one that requires two over this me. way. an interesting puzzle. <laughs> nope. You can stay in there. I don't need you, buddy. Don't blink! 
Adara Shorin Ritter, Sentinel of Golden Hall, executed by Night Marshal and Fortis for betrayal that caused irreversible dam damage to the machine. Despite our major loss, that the Night Marshal's left eye was lost in the event, given Hardra was last of their compatriot, Proper Knight's funeral was granted for Hardra. Probably something in here. No escape. Incoming. Hey. Leave it all to me. looking for lore. Someone over there. Jung here. Sword of the Lost Homeland. Oh, I was hoping we could talk to him like half Dan. Black Serpent Knight Windcutter. This seems to have once been a trusted guard of high standing in some land wielded by the power of the winds. His attacks become faster and stronger if hit by shielded characters at the cost of its own health. I must leave no stone unturned. Germinate! My sword from shadow. Don't blink! Hey! Propagate! 
We powered the middle level. What are you guys doing up there? I heard an inc truly incredible racket while I was studying the intricate of the inductive circuit. Well, whatever you're doing, please keep it down. If there's any trouble with the machine here, it'd be hard for me to explain away a report to the academia. We met the pilot. Pilot? Are you joking? Even people of Conria couldn't live for hundreds of years. Anyway, I assume you've got relays in the middle connected, yes? I'm almost done here as well. Come, let's go into the steering cabin up top. Just like before, we simply need to connect the power system to the steering cabin to activate the Ruin Golem's control system. Bet you can't keep up with me! To the top level. Look at my feet, sees my ankles, they're in pain. Page from the research notes. It seems to have been torn off a hidden here by the author. Collected a lot of components. These spare parts of huge machine. If only I could figure out the working principle of manufacturing process. Fiddling with these components has almost caused delay in my work. These exquisite mechanical parks have unique ingenious style, which is not likely to be found in the handcrafted artifacts under the rules of archons. I'm going to take them apart and record the size and shape one by one. But first of all, the secret must not be revealed to the other team members. Schwarzer, damsel of the dale, went missing in the battle against the onslaught of dark beasts. Only her and signet ring were recovered. A proper knight's funeral was arranged for her. Bad design, it's blocking the elevator access panel. Uh, 
Uh, besides the dark stone slate, nothing else here seems to be of value. Stone slate, don't underestimate it. If we can't get control system running, we can see the outside world through it. The control system looks like it can still work. Ancient Conrad's creations really are amazing. Never thought I would have the chance, this chance in, my, in this lifetime, but now it seems once I complete the research report, winning the Pyrrhicophaticus Prize will only be a matter of time now. Let's try to start this machine. Paimon can't wait. A capital notion. Now, now, we shouldn't rush anything. We need to follow the instructions. Calm down. Must preheat the attack. Oh, we're doing something. What did I say about following instructions? We really... We didn't really get in... Get it to do anything. Its arms just, you know... Fell off. Paimon was pretty sure the machine itself is to blame. Fine, I'll record it as an experimental accident. Then, uh, I do hope this won't diminish my report in any way. Anyway, it seems like we won't be able to start the Ruin Golem again. So there's no point in me keeping you here. I know you're here to investigate the contamination under in the underground ruins, but I'm afraid that the ruin golem won't be of much use to you now. Even so, you may see some unexpected progress as a result of what you did. I shall not keep you any longer. I have my research to get done here in any case. You can come and look me look for me once your work is done. I haven't been disciplined for destroying the ruins. I have all if I haven't been disciplined for destroying the ruined golem yet. Once that happens, I can help you apply for the research project on the chaos cores. I'll be the one in charge of the project, of course, but don't worry, I'll give you half the funds. Anyone can embark on an academic career so long as they have the desire to learn. So go for it. What a fun character. Oh, we can leave through the arm. Should the arm be hollow like this? an arm should be hollow like this. Oh, there's our little buddy. What are you doing here? Aurekan has been waiting for you since Aurekan finished sowing the flowers. But then something just fell off the Great Iron Mountain. It almost hit Aurekan. Oh no, we're sorry. <laughs> My mom doesn't have to say sorry. Aurekan is fine. Aurekan fast runner, so Aurekan didn't get hit. Just glad we didn't hurt you. The robot's severed arm must have broken the entrance to the underground ruins open. Well, at least it wasn't completely useless. Then let's go down and have a look. Who knows what nasty things wait for us down there. Probably Marana. Aurikan is going with you.
There we go. Get ready for the gliding champion of Mondstadt. Remember when we used to go into mains all the time? Everything's actually in the open world recently, and it's kind of been throwing me for a loop. Why are there waves down there. here? Abyss mages, what are the abyss order at? Knew the abyss order had a hand in it. No one escapes by sight. Head to the king. One step back, two forward. Leave it all to me. Off of these stun locks. This is what I like about playing more users. Go. <laughs> These are ruins, are they not? What is that thing? The glowing thing in there must be the Ruin Golem's Chaos Core. You know, the one Jazari talked about. It's sealed by branches and vines, but something seems to be flowing out of it. Now it's the filthy stuff that a ray sun can feel it. This is what made the forest sick. So abyss mages seem to be up to something around those big branches. Can't be good. I remember Jazari said that the core's seal had been damaged. Maybe the Abyss Mages had something to do with it. Anyway, you should go and find a place to hide. Let's stop them. I'll race you there. Let it rain. Propagate! Hey! 
Looks like the power of the branches is destroying. Let's get rid of the rest of the abyss mages. Disorder won't be able to do that. Filthy things are still coming out of it. Let's take a closer look.
this guy again. Behold, the abyss has become you. I would you reject such a blessing? Cling to what you see will make you blind. Stop making excuses for destroying the forest. Peace be with you. Bet you can't keep up with me. Abyssal light shine. Gifts of grace. Huh. Bet you can't keep up with me. Go, go, fairy fight. Be with you. Huh. Peace Peace be remember. with you. I could be the light shine. The gifts of grace. Huh. Peace be with you. I could just react in this kind of death. Yeah. Find a way to get back up there and turn that strange device off. Bet you can't keep up. Man, Amber destroys those those abyssal lectors. Well, the non-fire ones, anyway.
done. Well, if I can turn the device off, the forest should finally be free of further harm. The forest illness will surely take a turn for the better, right? Since Pima took in some fresh, clean air, let's go talk to Rarikan. Phew, it's finally over. Well, it was a long journey, wasn't it? Let's tell the story to Jazari. Let's tell the story to Grandpa R <laughs> Rogion. Yeah, that Grandpa Rachel will say, what an interesting story. Who'd know, he might actually save the forest. Anyway, we don't know what that Marana's avatar has to do with the Abyss Order. But it, it's a good thing that we cured the forest illness all the same. Thank you for helping, Arorikon. You're welcome, Arorikon. So what do you plan to do next, Arorikon? Arorikon will celebrate Festival Utsava. But Arorikon worries about the forest illness. There's a chance that the bad things that made the forest sick will come back. Horikon needs to guard the forest. So Horikon will be back here after Festival Utsava. Well, R and R really do have a tough job. If you ever need any help, Horikon, be sure to come to us. Okay, Horikon will. Take care of yourself. We will see each other soon. We've been at this for a while. Paimon wonders how Rana's doing. Well, we finished everything I set out to do, which means next time we will resume this, the story, we will... Eh. Finish this. And I'm sure, with like about 70% certainty that we can resume the Archon quest after this. And, if, uh... Hell, we might I'm even be able to do multiple work acts. Balance, but, I think this is pushing it. but yeah, up until next time. This has been a longer than average stream. We got a lot done. We got one, two, three big quest lines done, to my knowledge. And we're gonna check back in with Katarina... And the fucking missed people, probably next time, too. But with any hope, that's what we'll do if it turns out to be too little to do after this next quest line. But I think we're pretty close to the end of it. Until then, I'll see you guys in a later stream. Bye bye. <laughs>